We got four lovely ladies on a podcast today. Let's go. All right, we are back. Everyone that's tuned in right now, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, click the like notification if you are if you are tuned in right now. Um, also, we have three links in the description. First link is to join the membership. Sign up for the membership, man. It's been growing. A lot of people have been in there. So we got three tiers. First tier is gang, $5. Second tier is mob ties. Sorry, second tier is hitman, $10. Third tier is mob ties. That is $25. If you join that tier, your family, you're invited to the cookout. I mean it. We haven't won this summer. You will be invited. <laughs> but anyone that joins the membership, um, you do get a discount on a merch when it does drop, which it is releasing, Steve. Yo, the shirts is done, too. They called me. Shirts is done. All of them. The, whole, the big ordered. All, all a thousand of them. just got to get the cases in. Yeah, we waiting on that. So yeah, uh, merch is gonna be dropping literally, bro. Uh, two weeks, I would say. Um, and then we have the glasses as well, the Mister Man glasses, the famous glasses I wear on like every podcast, man. Um, those are releasing the same time the shirts release, the merch uh, merch release. So sign up for the membership, you do get a discount on the merch. Also with the Discord, sign up for the Discord. The link that's the second link in the description. Sign up for that. Um, we did create a new clips channel. The clips channel, uh, that's the fourth link in the description. And you'll see it if you click it, um, you'll see the Dragon Ball Z icon. It's pretty fire, man. It's me as Goku. It's, it's lit, bro. Y'all gotta check it out. Uh, <laughs> Steve made that. Shout out to Steve for making that. Uh, then also, yo, also on Eclipse channel, um, we need to get that up because a lot of people has been stealing our content and they've just been posting a lot of clips. So we're trying to compete, which is okay. They can go ahead and post the clips, but we made the Eclipse channel to compete with everyone else out this out there still in our clips but anyways back to uh regular schedule programming let's get into the girls introductions so let's go with over here name age and where you from i'm kiki i'm 23 years old and i live in bethlehem kiki do you love me are you riding so you never ever leave from beside me because i want you and i need <laughs> you ain't gonna snap to it come on <laughs> I'm sorry. Never, y'all. It's Friday. Like, come on. Like, y'all not even this. fun. This was like, y'all not. Whatever, man. Anyway, Kiki, <laughs> welcome back. Um, wait, did you say where you're from? Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And how old you? How old you say? I'm 23 years old. 23. What you do for a living? Um, you know, I work the corner every Wednesday. You work the corner? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a caregiver. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Um, and fun fact about yourself. I love pink. I can't swim. You you can't swim. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's you, like I don't know how to swim. You're you're making the stereotype very accurate but, right about now. No, but but I, I mean, I learned how to float and stuff. Right. I, I Gigi gives me lessons. Okay, I so do. you know how to. She's actually very good. Ah, uh, that's cap. She's, she, she's you can't, getting there. You can't swim. It's it's all good. So you're making us look bad. Um. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Kiki, um, relationship status. I am in a relationship. Are you? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, shout out to Kiki. The first time you came on a podcast, you were single. I was. No, the first time you came on, it was complicated. I remember that. Yeah, but you I said was, you had a situationship. I was still very much single, though. Okay, well, first time you had a situationship. This was back in July of 2023. Second time you came on, you were single. single. Now you're in a relationship, in a relationship with a brand new dude. Or was one of them old... It, it's the same dude I told y'all about, you know, when I chose the wrong friend at that... You know? I'm a, yeah. With the, the right friend, you could say. Oh. You was homie hopping. I remember that story. Like, type, type shit. You like. was homie hopping. So the, so the person you homie hopped to, he locked you down? 
Like we're we're still together. Yeah. And y'all together. Well, yeah, yeah. How do how do other homies feel about that? The world will never know. Are they still cool? Yeah. And they never be talking like, yeah, nigga, I had her before you. I would never know. You wouldn't know. <laughs> I oh, wouldn't okay. know. Dang, it is what it is. Anyways, moving right along. Um, name, age, and where you from? My name is Masamuso. Masamuso, welcome back. I'm from Africa, and I'm 28 years old. Africa, 28 years old. Ghani, Guinea. Guinea. You from Guinea? Yep. That's what's up. Um, and what do you do for a living? Right now, I am a student. Okay, you are a student. Nice. And I braid hair too. And you braid hair. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, fun fact about yourself. I don't take nothing to be serious. <laughs> you don't take nothing to be serious. Okay, you just, you having fun. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, relationship status. <laughs> I was single, but now I'm okay. <laughs> she said, I was single, but now, now, now you what? You okay? You good? Okay, cool, cool. Um, moving right to you. Welcome back. Name, age, and where you from? I'm Gigi, 22, from PA. Gigi, 22, PA. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Gigi, what do you do for a living? I'm a tattoo artist and getting into other things right now. Tattoo artist. Mm -hmm. And what other things are you getting getting into? Like shooting music videos and stuff you're like you're shooting Act music videos yes, actually i'm not joking like you have a camera yes. and a setup and everything yes. what kind of camera you got i have a sony ev10 oh that junk trash no it's not sony ev10 no it's not it's How actually much it not costs? it was like six something and the lens i got yeah. was like four something oh, trash it's what? not actually this Look it any, up. Any camera that's actually, under 3000 No, I'm not going to lie. I actually did like <laughs> extensive research on it. Any camera that's research. under 3000 is big trash. Okay, a starter camera? Oh, uh, yeah. You like, come on, bro. I mean, like, why are you hating cool, on like, like the success buildup? You got to start from somewhere. I respect it. I like, respect when you started it. this, I'm sure you didn't have all these cameras. I actually did. And you were here at the, <laughs> and you were at this location? It was smaller. Okay, then. Yeah. Everybody starts somewhere. Actually, no. This camera that's on me is a Sony FX30. Um, the other two okay. is Lumixes. So I did upgrade and get this one. So you're correct. I started with two cameras. I got a third one. Then we got a fourth one over here. Um, you could put it on that one, Dan, the fourth one. We got that one. Um, no, but that's cool. So you are doing music. I know you are artistic because this yeah. is what your fourth time here mm -hmm. and you do like tattoos and stuff like that. So yeah. quick question for you. Like what made, cause this is news to me. What made you start to get into the music video? I've always like edited videos when I was like super young and stuff. And then like, I've always been around like that setting. Cause I have a lot of friends like who make music and stuff, Yeah, but I don't really like being behind the camera or like in the videos, but I always have like the ideas for what they should do. So I was like, well, I'm going to get into it. Got you. Yeah. What what editing software are you using? Premiere Pro. Okay, you're using Adobe Premiere Pro. Yeah. That's good. That's legit. All right, yeah. all right, okay. <laughs> Camera trash, but Premiere Pro it's actually is good. Not. I'm Premiere a, Pro I'll is show hard. you afterwards what I'm working on right now. All right, all right. You can show me. Okay. Uh, relationship status? Single. Single. You were single. Every time. <laughs> Besides the first time, you had some dude. I, I had like a... Situationship. Yeah. Yeah. Both of y'all came in here with a situationship. Yeah. We did. Okay. I'm single with that. a crush. With a crush? I got a crush on Okay. Somebody. You want Tyrone? You want to shout him out? No. You want to give him a name? No. See, look, you playing games already if you ain't shouting him out. I don't want to shout him out. Because <laughs> it's just a crush. Like, just a crush? Yeah. Moving right along. Um, name, age, and where you from? I'm Faye. I'm 20. I'm from Pennsylvania. Faye from PA. Um, 20 years old. Okay, cool. And what do you do for a living? Um, I don't work. I'm a student. Okay, you don't work. You're a student. And what are you in college for? I'm for my bachelor's in aviation as a pilot. Oh, look at you. You're trying to be a pilot. And you're the one that called in. Hey, chat. Uh, the last episode we did on Wednesday, Faye called in and was like, uh, so I have one question. What does Fugazi mean? I was like, what? 
We had some crazy calls. Everyone calling in, people calling in, crying, people calling in about their trauma, people calling in, asking the other girls on the questions, uh, asking other the other girls on the panel questions. Faye calls in like, uh, yeah, so um, guys, I just want to know what uh, Fugazi stands for. I'm like, bye. Anyways, thanks for coming. Um, you also said that the chat requested you to come on. Okay. You remember the people names in the chat or nah? Not really. Not really? Okay. Got it. I was gonna I was gonna tell you to shout them out. All right, uh ladies and gents, uh let's see, where we at right now? Let me check Facebook real quick. YouTube, we popping on YouTube right now. Well, let's see the Facebook stream. Oh yeah, the Facebook popping too right now. Okay. All right, uh we gonna start with the ladies first. Any questions before I get into a topic or no? Nothing? Y'all got nothing? Okay. I'll get into mine then. Let's check the chat. Any super chats came in, Steve, or nah? Nah? All right, bet. I got a question for y'all. We're going to start off real simple today since it's Friday. And a couple girls returned. So uh, we're going to get into some thought-provoking questions. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. And then we got a game as well that we're going to play, which is going to be pretty cool. Holiday Tone. All right, I'll get to his chat after this question. Let's see here. Here's a good one to start it off with, since we don't really know one another yet. Actually, I'll save this one. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with this one. Starting with you. No, actually, let's start on this couch. Start with you, Faye. So if you're standing next to your man and another man asks you a question, what are you supposed to do? What am I supposed to do or what am I going to do? Uh, same same thing. Supposed to do or what are you going to do? Don't matter. Um, I don't know. Usually when I'm out with like my man, I'm just zone out because I should be able to trust him enough to... Yeah take care of me when we're outside okay okay so you pretty much saying that if someone if another man approaches you you're just gonna zone out like not gonna do nothing <laughs> yeah let him take care of it okay let him take care of it okay fair enough what about you gg what's the question question is if you're standing next no i'm saying what is the question they ask me it, could, it don't matter it's just a question i would like give him one of those like little side eyes like like look at my man give him a little side eye like He's like, if you looking like, don't, don't do that, then I won't do it. But if I'm looking, I'm like, all right, like, if it's like a question, like, like, um, oh, are you standing in line or something? I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm in line. You know what I mean? Like, I might answer. But if it's questions like, yo, like, let me get your Instagram. It's like, obvious no. Yeah, no, it's an actual, like, question. Like, it, a question like what? Like, I don't know. It's, it has nothing to do with hitting on you. It has nothing to do. Just a question? It, but it has, it's not as simple as, hey, are you standing in line? It's not one of oh, those. So it's like, yeah, it's so not it's like, like to be like kind. It's actual. He's so it's asking like, you a specific question. A question about like, like that could start a conversation. Anything other than the you normal, you know, human to human interaction, like to be nice. Oh, excuse me. Are you standing here? Or none of that is more like a question, a personal question. You gonna answer it or not? I'm, or what you gonna do? I'm gonna. I'll look at my man. Like if he's like, go ahead, answer the question. I'll answer the question. If he's like, don't answer the question, I'm not gonna answer the question. Okay, so I'll I'll be able to know his face if we're together. So I'll be able to know like if it's like, no, you're you're ODing it right now. Don't answer that. Then I won't answer it. Fair enough. What about yourself? Can you repeat the question again? Yeah, if you're standing with your man and another man approaches you and asks you a question, what are you going to do? I won't say nothing and I will never respond to you. You have to ask my man first. Okay. What about you, Kiki? Um, I think my natural reaction will be to look at my man. I'll probably like pause and look at my man and kind of see what, like Gigi said, like his vibe, what his face is giving. And like I said, it also depends. If it's something personal about me, I'm probably not going to. I mean, if it's a stranger walking up to me and ask me a question, I'm probably not even going to answer them. Or Okay. 
Mm. Or I might just lie and say, oh, I don't know. This is the first panel where everyone said that they would yield to their men. All right. All right. Cool. I think we can. I mean, three of the ladies came back and Faye is new. Okay. Your answers are no Fugazi approved. Good answers. But question for you. If the person that came to you to ask you a question was the that was your man's friend, the dude that you homie hopped from, would you answer his question? Oh, you know, I'm definitely that's I'm definitely 100 percent saying to my man. Even more. <laughs> OK, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Uh, let's get to uh, Holiday Tone chat in here. Oh, we got a couple of them coming in. All right, we got Holiday Tone sends in $2. He says, what have you learned from the last time you were here? That's a good question. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, start with Kiki. So what have you learned since the last time you was here? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. You don't remember? Dang, you ain't learned nothing. I mean... I learned that I learned that it is considered the right thing to do if your man asks you to get up at whatever they have whatever time of day it is if they're hungry you should cook for them I learned that <laughs> oh okay okay I remember that I remember that question Let's see, let me fix this real quick yeah I learned that all right, so do you follow those? Um, do you actually follow that rule? So, like, when your current man, if he asks you to cook him some some food and it's, like, 1 a.m., you going to get up and cook him some food? Yes. i actually be down. I'd be like, yes. You did it already or nah? He ain't never asked. Um, it wasn't 1, but it was, like, 11. Close enough. Call that nigga right now. Let's see if you capping or not. We could call him. <laughs> <laughs> now, he probably going to lie for you to make you look good. Like, yeah, she did it. Um, Okay. Fair enough. Uh, what have you learned the last time you were on here? I already know everything before coming here. She, <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, I'm from the motherland. Uh, we operate different. I already know about this, uh, these gender roles and stuff. Okay, fair enough. What about you, Gigi? Um, I learned how guys think. And what about how guys think? Just like how they aspect? think. That, that's like a long list. What What aspect, though? Give me one. Um, okay, I learned that, like, a guy doesn't care if you have, like, any type of money motion going on. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, because that I really didn't know. All right, cool. Um, and this is your first time here. I'll ask you a different question. Since you called in, that means that you was watching that podcast, right? What have you learned, or did you learn anything from that last episode that, that you watched that we did just did on Wednesday? Um, not really. Okay, fair enough. She's like, yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't learned nothing. Good question, Tone, good question. Uh, we got Ice underscore 513. Okay, bro, you joined the Mob Ties membership. Appreciate that, man. Um, you also got a question in here. You says, what should the average guy make a year if he wants to date seriously and why? That's good. So let's let's do, um starting over here, Faye. So uh, what... Actually, we could word it a little bit differently. For you to take a guy seriously, what does he have to make a year? Like marriage and kids? Seriously? Yeah, like seriously, like long term. It would have to, based on what I've been approached with, with yeah. the guys I've been approached with, it would have to be over 200K. God I, damn! I want multiple children and children are expensive. So 200K? Okay. Um, do you know the percentage of men that make 200k a year not really i'm just going based off the men that approach me that approach you and you could tell that they make 200k they make more than that how can you tell they tell me oh they tell you mm -hmm. so you just be believing niggas that be telling you stuff well, like that you can tell from their lifestyle <clears throat> their job you know, I mean, yeah, some guys you could kind of tell that it's like, ah, he must be making six figures. But OK, it's it's a very gullible view. It's OK, though. You're 20 years old. Let me ask you another question. Um, 
you said you could kind of pretty much tell by their lifestyle and stuff like that. Have you ever like dated the man where you thought that he was making the bag, but then come to find out he wasn't making the bag? Not really, no. Nah. So pretty much the guys you've talked to, they all was pretty honest. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'll give you a little tip real quick on oh, men. Guys ain't going to like this, but <laughs> I'll keep it no fugazi for you. Um, yeah. Niggas be lying um, for the most part on how much they make. I make well over that and it's not easy to do. Like it's hard to do. And also I'll give you some stats. So only 20% of the population makes two, uh, makes $100,000 a year. And that's men and women. $200,000 a year. That's like, and we talking about a guy that's like 2% of men make that much. So, yeah, I mean, you could have some guys that slid, slide in a DM. Some of them probably make that. But for the most part, they're probably just capping on their lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. 200K isn't easy. Like, normal jobs don't really pay 200K. You have to be either an expert at something or have a degree or have, a, like, a certification in something, like a, a specialty in something. So that's like, you know, uh, an engineer working for... Uh, one of a you know a top company um that's like nurse practitioners don't even make 200k you know when you normally go to the doctors and it's not the actual doctor that sees you and gives you a prescription it's the nurse practitioner mm -hmm. those they don't even make 200k um they make probably around like the 120 to 160k so um let me think of what other job titles there are that could make that much Normally, when you get to the 200K range, you're like a director in a company. So you're high up in the company or you're an entrepreneur and you're getting the bag. You got multiple businesses and you're doing things or you're doing something in the, in the sales industry and you're like the top, in the top five in a company. So, yeah. But I mean, that, those could be those guys in your DMs. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, moving right along to you, Gigi, for um, you to take a guy seriously, how much a year? I don't know. I feel like if he has, has a car, a good job. Give a number. <laughs> I don't know. A number. We need a number, Gigi. I don't know. Let me calculate something. Gigi, how old are you? 22. Come on, Gigi. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I feel like a cool, like, 50 ball. 50K? Yeah, 50 ball. Yeah, you gonna you gonna you gonna make a copy of him? What if he making fifty k a year? What you mean? You gonna make a copy of him? Are you gonna give him a baby? <laughs> you, I mean, if he doesn't have any already, if it's serious for at least like two three years, maybe like um. Okay, He's <laughs> young young girl. Okay, so we got it. One young girl that says two hundred k. Then we got another young girl that says 50K. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, 50 is average. That's I average. Feel like, yeah, like, I think that it's a eh, little naive coming from both. One is the extreme naive. The other one is the, but I'm not knocking it because that means that most guys could actually meet that. Um, on to you. Um, what, uh, what, uh, what does a man, for a man, for you to take a man seriously and then bear his children, how much does he have to make a year? It doesn't matter. Even you make 1000 I don't care about that. You have to be a strong man and work hard. Okay. So it's all about the ambition and the drive that he has. Yes. You want to make your children feature better. You want you want good feature for your children, and you want good feature for yourself too. Okay. So you're not really from America. Let me tell you, uh, good future for children, 50K with inflation. Yeah, it ain't happening. Yeah, you, 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 you could do it, but uh, you gonna be the woman gonna have to work. <laughs> I will help you work. What? Those. Yeah, I mean, if if you live in like Nebraska, you'll be all right. Um, but if you living in like or, or or somewhere down south, like Alabama, one of them weird states. Of course, I have. Yeah, to work. you'll be all right. You work i work then we put it together okay so you 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 uh you you you, you have to get 50 or 60 i don't care about that okay so you you dare to bob the builder nigga fair enough what about you kiki um 
I don't know. You know? You said the average is 50K. Yeah, the like, average salary uh, in America is like 45 to 50K. Yeah. So I think I do want a luxurious lifestyle. So maybe just a little bit above average and we'll be all right. Okay, so like what, 60? Yeah. All right, all right. These girls is fairly, they don't really have those many high standards besides Faye. She like, I got all the athletes hopping in my DMs, coolies. Listen, trust me, uh, I could get it if I want to. Uh, fair enough, Faye. Uh, we got, hold up, let's go ahead and close down a Facebook stream real quick. Everybody on Facebook that's tuned in, come on over to YouTube. We're closing on a Facebook stream right now. So that's No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. We are closing down the Facebook stream. Uh, let's see. Steve, audio and everything is good too, right? Yeah. All right, bet. We have King Carnal sends him $5. He says, Gigi, Aww. stop being so sensitive. What? Stop whining, brat. It's not an attack. How do you expect to I succeed say? when you cannot take a little banter or sarcasm? Wait, what did I say? That's when I was talking about your camera was trash. Oh, uh, the camera? Yeah. No, we don't care. He seen I don't you got that. that serious that was like, yeah, we yeah, don't he, care about that. He peeped you got a little sensitive. Nah, she, Gigi been on here mad times. Yeah. She, she survived. I'm um, very good. Some, I'm cool. Some crazy Trust. combos. But yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, but appreciate the support, bro. We have RP Monster back in here. He sends in five dollars. He says official ratings from Cooley's left. <laughs> y'all ready? All right. So starting. Wait, what with, does that mean? Start is, official like, ratings. He's gonna rate y'all. Give y'all rating. Y'all ready? Starting with you, Gigi. So here's the ratings. Oh God. He says, uh, Timu, <laughs> Kim Kardashian five. Uh, Sid from Ice Age six, uh, Milk Dud Body zero, Michael Blackson two. <laughs> the yo, the chat is crazy. Is, yo, the Bro. chat. I gotta. No. Chat, wow, yo. You gotta get that RP monster, bro. You always coming in here clowning, bro. You funny, man. Yo, he said. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I don't think any of us would look twice at him if we saw him in public. So I'm dead. Not. We could pull up his Instagram if you want. Go ahead. Wait, I want to see him. Go ahead. Yo, RP Monster. <laughs> if you want to, we'll have the girls rate you because we have it up on the screen where they can see it. Um, they they said they they want to rate you. So if you want to send us up. your Instagram, send in the super chat, send in any any type of bread, and send in your Instagram <laughs> name. Pull it up, and then we'll pull it up. We'll have the girls rate you, bro, because you do rate the girls every podcast. So now we got everything set up where the girls can rate you. So if you with it, send in the super chat with your nice. IG. We'll, yeah, no, we'll have them rate you, bro. Since we're giving um, it in, send it. In. But RP Monster, you the goat. Uh, we got Mia Parker sends in two dollars oh this is a girl she says what makes you valuable to your ideal man good question let's start um with kiki i wasn't ready uh what makes you valuable to your ideal man tick tock tick come <laughs> dean your brain operating um I guess I don't know. Not right now in my life, I don't know. You don't know what makes you... So the dude that you dating, what make you valuable to him? Oh. Like, why he dating you? Oh, I mean, I'm that girl. Like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't... I know. I guess I know. I don't know. You Say something. Whatever you... Whatever qualities you think that is valuable to him. I'm a loving, you, understanding... Um. A person that I'm a, like I'm that that's the type of person I am. I'm very caring, so I think my personality has a lot to do with it. Um, yeah, I think my personality. Like I'm very. I'm a. I mean, I'm an easy person to get along with. Um, personality the, easy to get along. Oh, Kiki, the last I time you know. was on here, you said that you beat up a dude and I you changed. dragged him. I changed. <laughs> and so I, you changed. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the last time you hit a dude with the car, then you hit a, then you beat up another dude. So 
I don't know. What you do to this dude? Did I you do any? Bobby, I didn't we do should those call things. this dude. We should call him now. We see what can. you did. I didn't do any of those things. <laughs> you probably did something. No, and one dude, you said you cut off his dreadlocks or something. Yeah, no, I, some... I <laughs> when I was dragging him, it came out of his scalp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move it on. <laughs> Kiki, you ain't you ain't, you ain't got nothing valuable I, I for you, man. Say, I did say at this point in my life, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. On to you. What values? do you bring to your ideal man respect respect okay and love and care and support Res respect love and care and support and support you're gonna be his cheerleader okay like whatever you're doing you're gonna be like yeah babe i got i got you you go no i will not let him down you you are not what i will never let my man fall in front of me oh see that's that motherland talking she like i would never I would never let him fall. <laughs> uh, Black Panther. Uh, what's his name? King T'Challa. <laughs> I would never let King T'Challa fall. He would never <laughs> fall. No. Like, fair enough. I like that. Uh, Gigi, what values do you bring to your ideal man? Um, I'm a good listener. I like to listen. I have a very big heart. Um, pretty much do whatever for you. Like, if you ask me to do something for you, I'll pretty much do it. Like, there's never a time I'd be like, nah, like, yeah. Okay. All right. So got a big heart. You're uh, submissive pretty much. Definitely, that's what you said. Yeah, pretty much submissive, loyal, good, fun time. Okay. I got a game, <laughs> another game we're going to play too. Chat, remember we played that uh, um, submissive game. We what? are going to play that. What's and I that? got the, I got a good way that we're going to play it. What is so, that? You're, you'll see it in a moment. What about you, Faye? What values do you bring to your ideal men? Mm, you got a wife, a mother, a lifelong partner. You got support and loyalty. Wife, mother. Dang, okay. What's your nationality? I'm Persian and Afghan. Persian and Af Afghan. Okay. Uh, what's, what's your um, uh, religious background? I was raised Muslim, but yeah. now I'm taking a step back. Okay, raised Muslim. She like, what? Because she Muslim. She's like, taking a step back? You oh. stone her. No, I'm so joking. what happened was my parents sure. mixed culture with religion. So. Okay, your parents mix culture with religion. So, okay. Uh, are you taking on more secular beliefs then secular is like not really believing in god or you're just taking away like the traditionalism that's in the uh in muslim like you know not really um what's the uh the month that just passed what was it ramadan, ramadan not fasting and stuff not praying how many times did i pray a day five times five times not praying five times a day so all of, all of the i just want to know like you said that you're muslim but you're not really practicing it so much so what parts aren't you practicing? That's my question. I'm just taking a step back. Um, we're learning about the religion from an unbiased standpoint. Okay. About the culture. So I still have the core beliefs and principles. Okay. And tradition and everything. But I'm learning to differentiate the two. How Got I was it. Raised, you know? So you're, you're curious right now. You're in, a, you're in a phase where it's like, okay, I was born into something, but I kind of want to see if what I was born into is actually authentic. So I may maybe be maybe a little curious about other religions or God in itself or what? I have faith. Okay. I'm just learning how to differentiate what I was raised with, the Islam that I was raised with, rather than the actual Islam. Oh, okay. I got it. So your Israel that you was raised with was a little bit more culturalized. That's what you're saying. I, I, well, I mean, well, then that means it's going to get even more strict if you're really trying to get to the book. Because if... Really? Okay. Well, from what I'm picking up, what you put down, you said that uh, how I was raised, it was more of like, you know, it was Muslim, but it was like culture plus um, Muslim beliefs. So that means like it's a mix of, you know, how the society is operating and the mix of with Islam. And you're saying that you kind of want to get to the root of true islam like you know okay got it yes and i'm saying that if you want to get to the root of it it's even more strict you should be wearing a whole hijab cover your whole face cover everything well not every muslim wears hijab true see 
True. That is right. Y'all maybe need to teach me some stuff. I'm new too, man. I don't know a whole lot to it, but all right. I am Muslim. I pray five times in the day. I don't cover my hair. I can't yeah. Whatsoever. Question in regards to the, um, since y'all both Muslims, uh, who puts the standard? Iran and Afghanistan. Palestine? Afghanistan. Yeah. Who puts the standard? Um, is, I'm sure it's the man in the house. So like, you know, when a woman wears the hijabs, the daughters wear it, the woman wears it, the aunties wear it, every, every girl is wearing it. Who puts that standard? Like, how is it? How, why do some Muslims do that and other Muslims don't? Is it is it, that just comes from the man of the house? Like, OK, ladies, yeah, I don't know, always have to wear the hijabs and stuff like that. Only during Ramadan or is other ones like. Yeah, everybody cover up everything. So where does it come from? Like, why is it different? I thought it is our religion, Muslim religion. Okay, I, I guess my question is: so, for example, Christianity. Mm -hmm. So we got Christians right now that believe in the rainbow flag, right? But you know, it's Christians that ain't with that, and the Christians that ain't with it, they really are going strictly from the book. They're not like culturing they're not like putting culture in to christianity which then they're accepting a whole lot of things real christians they're very intolerant new christians 2024 they're very tolerant meaning that they'll just tolerate all type of degenerate stuff so now i'm saying if we're looking at y'all may not know but i'm, I'm curious because i don't know but since we have two muslims on the panel so if we're looking at um uh, islam right um the muslim religion and when it comes to the hijabs, women wearing hijabs it means covering everything, right? Is that like the is that like more of like a uh, cultured mix with it, or like pretty much does it say it in the Quran that every woman should be wearing a hijab, or does it not say that? No, it's not about culture. It's about Muslim religion. Okay, so it is. It does say it. You should be wearing a hijab. Yes. Okay. Cover your shirt. Okay, so that's actually in there. Okay, it makes sense then. All right, I got it. Got my, I got the answer to my question. Okay, let's get into, we got uh, Holiday Tone says in $2. You ladies talk like you down. Wait, you ladies talk like you down. So, spit or swallow? <laughs> Yo, down? Uh, what does he mean, down? He, that's, that was what he said. I don't know what he means. Let's just see. Spit or swallow? Starting with you, Gigi. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know, spit or swallow? <laughs> spit, the fuck? Spit? All right, spit or swallow? Neither. Okay, yeah, she don't do sodomy. Spit or swallow? Uh, I'm down with the neither. If what? You, know, you, you know. capping? I'm about to call, I'm call him right call now. Him. You don't went to the homie and then the other homie, you definitely was spitting and swallow or swallowing that something. I'm person that just don't know how to, you know, do that properly, so I don't even bother okay fair enough <laughs> then spit or swallow she like what is that <laughs> i spit out gum and i swallow water she like oh. <laughs> spit or swallow still gotta ask you like i have to sort of something or put it up see yeah bro <laughs> yep like i said move it right along that's how you know she really followed the book <laughs> yo uh holiday tone you a wild boy we got um Wait and see. Uh, wait and see. He sends in five dollars. He says, "Ladies, have you ever had a man tell you that you couldn't hang out with your friends um, because he knew they were hoes?" Okay, so have you ever had a man that told you you couldn't hang out with your girlfriends because he just knew they were three or fours? Starting with um, Kiki. Yes. Okay. So have you ever had a guy that told you that you couldn't hang out with your friends because maybe some of your friends was promiscuous? Like, yes. Okay. What about you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, Faye? No. Oh, you, none of your friends was promiscuous? No, I'm very picky about who I keep around me. Okay. Fair enough. She's like, nah, I ain't never had that before. In this country. It happened to me in this country. In this country, not in Africa. And not in Guinea. Can I just add something, sure. too? Guys will say that. And your friends might not even be that. They're just going to say that because they don't, they're going to, you feel me? Like, and they can, yeah, make your face all you want, but 
Like, I mean, I'm just saying, regardless, they just don't want you to go like you could, mm-hmm. you know, anywhere. That's a valid point. In a public with friends, because then it's going to, you know, that's especially a, that's single friends. Like if you got single friends, they don't want you to hang out with your single friends. That's a valid point. I see your point is saying like sometimes in the general. girls don't always have to be hoes. Yeah, but in general. But dudes would just be like, nah, I don't want you to hang out with them just because. Yeah, just like you said, you wouldn't want your girl taking a girl's trip. That's yeah, 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 no, 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 none of that. See though, you feel me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I get. Yeah, I, that's why I said that's a valid point. <laughs> so I, I get that. It happened in this country, but it was like I was not know her before. We met in the saloon, was working together. Uh huh. And one time, me and my friends, one of my friends' birthday was happening. We went to, to a birthday place. When my men see me with her, I said no. No, don't hang out with her. She for the streets. Yeah. She for the sidewalk. Before she <laughs> could do that, and the way she was behaving to me, I know something. Something was a little up. Yes. Okay. But she was trying to push me over the people because I was new in that place. Yeah, yeah. More people wanted me. She said, you have to laugh with men. Why are you tying your face like that? I told her, I said, I'm not here to look for men. Ah, and chill and I got you. Do my friend birth, they go back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was trying to have you be the uh, be the wingman. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, actually, let's play this game first. So this game is called Steve. What is this game called? We played it when she was on before the submissive game. We, I kind of, I kind of know what I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be random. This game is called How Submissive Are You? Right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna ask. A question to everybody. It's not going to be a different question. It's going to be the same question. Freaking that. It's going to be the same question. And uh, depending on if you answer yes to the question, then you go to the next round. If you answer no to the question, then um, you don't move to the next round. So the person that gets to the last round. What would you say? If you say yes, then you qualify to the next. Yeah, if you say yes, you qualify for. Uh, for the next round, but you got to be real. So it's how submissive are you? I'm going to ask you questions just about, you know, how submissive would you be with your men? And you're going to answer, yeah, I, w- I would do that. Yes, I would submit to my man. Or you answer like, nah, I'm not with that, Cooley. I'm not doing that. Got it. <clears throat> so we're going to start with Kiki. Actually, we started with you with the last question. Yep. Let's start with Faye. Uh, Faye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Faye. So... How submissive are you? Um, if your man wanted you to cook him food, actually, if your man wanted you to meal prep for the week, every week, that's one of his, you know, uh, uh, guidelines, his preferences that he wants. Would you do that? Yeah. Because I already meal prep for myself because I work out. Okay. So she's meal prepping. What about you, Gigi? Yeah. Okay. Meal prep. Meal prep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Next, how submissive are you? We starting over here with Kiki now. No, no. We starting with Gigi and we're going to end with Faye. So uh, how submissive are you? If your man uh, wanted you to cook him a meal, he got home late and it's like, yeah. 1 a.m. Yeah. You cooking him a meal yeah. at 1 a.m.? Yeah. You? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Faye? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's going to get harder and harder. Here we go. Starting with you now. Uh, if your man... Now, how submissive are you? If your <laughs> man... <laughs> this is the game you got to play, right? <laughs> how submissive are you? If your man... Uh, wanted you to mm, let's 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 do back massage and it's it's a rule every day he comes home from the gym after he takes a shower it's a massage every day full massage full back massage you doing that or not yes yeah you doing it okay what about you kiki yes and i said Feet, feet involved too, because you look like you don't like dogs. I don't like feet, but my man personally doesn't have ugly feet, so it's cool. Okay, let's change it. Feet involved. You rubbing his feet too? Okay. What about you, Faye? Sure. You look like you're not a feet person. 
I could tell. But you still gonna rub his feet. What about you? Yes, and I actually love feet. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> I have a, okay, I have a oh All right. <laughs> Kiki, on to you. How submissive are you? If your man was like, listen, you gotta get back out there, um, and and uh, you know, work part time. Like he was taking care of everything full time, but he's like, Listen, you gotta go back out there and work part time. Um, yes or no? Yes. What about you, Faye? I have to work part time. You gotta work part time. And he's my man? He's your man. Sure. Okay. What about you? Yeah, because I wouldn't ever lose my career. It's a fun career. Gotcha. What about you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Question to you. You with your man. Now he like, listen, baby girl, um, I got a whole lot of things going on, but we, we need, we got bigger goals. I need you to work full time. Yes, depending how long. Three years. Three years. As a pilot, yeah, sure. What about you? Yeah, already doing it. What about you? Dang. Okay. Steve, come think of some more questions while I'm thinking of these, bro. Come on, bro. You're supposed to be thinking too. Snigger. Back there just doodling. <laughs> um, Kiki, what about you? I mean, I already do it. It's not um, it's not like it would yeah. Okay. All right. It wouldn't change anything. All right. Back to you. Wait, we went to Faye, right? <clears throat> Started back to you, Gigi. Okay. Uh, how submissive are you? If your man wanted to threesome, you doing it or nah? Like you just lost me. <laughs> like you just, you literally just. You okay, just that's Gigi's me. not in. That's See, no. they're they gonna get harder. That's a no for Gigi. If your man wanted to threesome, you saying yes to that or no to it? Yes. <laughs> Mother Africa, we here. Uh, on to you. How submissive are you if your man wanted to threesome? Yes or no? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> not at all. And actually, the way my mental state is, like, it just what? wouldn't even, if, we're, if we all want to be safe and have a good night, we would never even ask me a question like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. We got, so we got two out. Okay. Currently, uh, Faye, it's up to you. See if you're going to go to the next round with uh, uh, Mansa Musa or are you going to drop out and she wins so if your man wanted the threesome he taking okay. care of all the bills he lock he holding it down and he like Faye listen we've been rocking for some years now but I want to bring Katie involved I want to <laughs> slap that around a little bit yes or no like what hmm like just a fling or like a wife no 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 not a not a not a wife it's just gonna be a threesome you know what I mean she she come and go no okay you are the winner. <laughs> you are the winner. You won. Um, Dane, back to you, though. So if it was a wife, you down for another wife? Mm, I'll think about it. Okay, so you don't want him having casual sex, but you'd be down for him, like, locking another chick down because that's in if regards to your... If he's providing, yeah. then I'll be open to it. Okay. I guess the logic is lodging. <laughs> Due to the religious backing. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> All right, chat. Uh, if y'all like that game, put a one in the chat. If y'all don't like that game, put a two in the chat and we'll stop it. The last time, we only did it this time because y'all said y'all liked it. But uh, we do got to get more better questions still. More better questions. Um, but I think I did turn it up a notch. So I started slow and then turned it up a little bit. Turned it up a little bit. Zero to a hundred. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> uh, what, what the chat saying? Ones or twos? Ones and twos, they like trash. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta actually come up with questions. Yeah, we gotta get some better, better questions. Instead of me winging it, I'm always freestyling, man. Uh, okay, we got some more super chats that came in here. We got Holiday Tone. He says he sends him five dollars. He says, um, "Oh, here's the ratings. More ratings." Oh my god! From, from a different go. person. Now. I just eye roll because. Uh... Um, starting with you. He says, uh, "Trash bag jacket too." Mommy Africa three, uh, <laughs> wish Kim oh my God. five, delusional two hundred k swallower four. <laughs> Ladies, please stop the cap. Try learning from the show and find a husband. Wait, the cap. I love, yeah. I love when they think we're lying. Wait, but what, the cap because they, for because what? they don't like our answer. It's Wait, a lie. Cap for, though. But I'm honestly in every answer. I just be honest. Like regard, I don't even care about. 
I, sometimes when I answer, I don't even think about, oh my God, what are the viewers going to think? No, I'm just answering how I answer. Not saying it's right or wrong. It's just how I think. Yeah. So stop the cap. You're saying anything. And I think you're delusional. Fair enough. Mm. Um, I, he was talking about stop the cap when um, I guess we were going around a panel and because he asked the question spit or swallow. So he was talking oh, about stop was... the cap for that. And I was honest. <laughs> I, was, with, I was so honest. About I was that. honest. I'm spitting and if you that know me out. Personally, even I my ain't... man was like, all right. Yeah, you answered that truthfully. Yeah, I was honest. I actually answered it. <laughs> OK, <laughs> we got uh, Gus sends him five dollars. He says, if your husband told you to vote for who he's voting for oh this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one yeah if your husband told you to vote for who's he's voting for would you submit um let's start with you Faye. um sure i'm not really too well versed in politics and everything so yeah okay you like sports mm. no you're not too well versed I in like that i like to play them i don't like to watch them okay what are you into such as like anything just give me like a, a hobby or anything um the gym Pilates. I'm just trying to be a contrarian. So if your husband was like, yeah, those workouts that you're doing is trash, do these workouts. You're going to do it? You're going to submit to them? I'll try them out. Okay. It's giving results. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, if your husband wanted you to vote for who he was voting We're for. We're talking for like the president or? Right. I was Everything. I mean, you got right, the well, president, local elections. No, I'm voting who I want to vote for with the president. Make America great again. Okay. Anyway, Donald uh, Trump. <laughs> um sports um if it's football no because i am a big chiefs fan but if it's any other sport i don't care i don't watch any other sports so if you want me to go to like a lakers game with you go lakers fair enough go lakers okay yeah. um what about you voting yes yeah she's like yeah uh, whatever he does i'll do for you i want peace in my home you want peace in your home, so you're going to go ahead and do that. Makes sense. Yeah, listening, ladies? Um, <laughs> Kiki, what about you? Um, so let's say if we're talking about a president. If he wants you to vote for Sleepy Joe, you voting? For who? Sleepy Joe. Who's that? Oh, Joe Biden? <laughs> yeah. No. Um, all right, so I'm not You better really, say no. I'm not, gonna, I'm not really into the politics. Matter of fact. If you vote for Sleepy Joe, you better break up with him. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not really into politics, so... Um, but I do, I do stand on like if I really truly have an opinion on something, I'm open to um, like other opinions for yeah. sure. But like if it's something I'm truly, I, it's it's hard. This one's hard for me because like if I really stand on something, and usually when I stand on something, I think I look at it in all different perspectives. So usually when I feel like when I make a decision, I'm pretty right about it. So in that case, like I think I would still stand on what I now. If it's something that I don't really care about, like politics, sure, all right, fine, because I don't. But if it's something you care about, you gonna stand on what you stand like what, on. I'm gonna stand on what I See? feel. Yeah, man, it's only what you feel. But because no, usually when I think, but no, we can have a great talk about it. But then afterwards, so you gonna real masculine men? We don't negotiate with terrorists. So like, if the woman is saying something like, "Oh yeah, I'm not with this," like there's no, or she's trying to say, "Well, baby, well, can I have this?" And or how about this? No, there's no negotiation. It's my way or the highway. But you don't think like sometimes men need our perspective on things? Sometimes no, never. Nah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you I can think, give it. Think, it's, that's think, the thing. It's a need. That's what, I'm, I'm answering your question. You said, do we need your perspective? No. Nah, we don't need. We may want it sometimes. You because know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like um, people can make decisions not really thinking. And then when that person talks to them, like, you know, like, did you ever think about this or that? Like, some, I guess it just depends on the situation. It might help. Like, I don't know. Well, okay. If you're talking about on a, on a depend on a, on a situation... Let me try to think of a situation where a man would n need a woman's perspective when it comes to home decor, work, home. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Like, if you really think about it, like th the best interior decorators are men. The the best uh, people that do makeup are gay men. They're men. But they, they're gay. They're the celebrity ones. Ha. So even if you look at the the things that women's supposed to be. You know, succeeding at, 
What about like, like a restaurant? Either a straight man is doing it better or a gay man is doing it better. What about pause? What about a restaurant? <laughs> I mean, no diddy. Facts. <laughs> like, what the hell? A restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> what the, like, can we clip that? Or? <laughs> nah, I mean, that's, that's facts. <laughs> there's no flag. There's no colorful flags over here. You already know the. You already know the deal. But I'm just speaking facts. Like, is either gonna be a heterosexual <laughs> or a homosexual that's doing it better? Um, um, I just, I just, what about restaurants? Eh, still men. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like. <laughs> I guess it all depends on the person. Like sometimes I feel like I'm just thinking about me being in situations personally, and I'll be like, you know, like. Like just, I'm just thinking about well, me and my man, and we need to make a decision on something. Yeah. And sometimes he'll just make a decision based on what he's feeling in that moment, and then I come in like, wait, but did you like, you know, let's really sit here and think about it. Yeah. And then he'll be like, you know what, you're right, babe. I agree with that. Like, so that's what I'm talking those about. Those are men. Yeah, yeah. Th those are those are men that's you know they got some work in the doing themselves. Yeah. Those are no for one. <laughs> yeah, those are men that got a little work in the doing themselves. A masculine man, he. He, he, he doesn't he got need all that. that way because he was already doing things to get that way. Okay, you know what I mean. So he had to build up the strong. He had to build up the strong uh, interior to have a strong exterior. So yeah, so he's Teflon. It definitely depends on who you're dealing with, I guess. It does depend on who you're dealing with. Um, but I would say like the guys that are a little bit more beta, um, those guys just adopted the the mother's nature. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, a real man, I mean, do you, I'm trying to think. Chat, help me out here. Steve, do you know anything that a, a woman, that a man would, that a man's worse than a woman? Or, or like anything. I, I can't think of anything, really. What if he, I mean, mm. you think about it, single father homes do better than single mother All homes. Right, <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you truly think about it, it's chat. It's actually, chat, let me know, man, if y'all have anything. Because um, y'all really can't think of it. Maybe I'm sexist, but man, <laughs> who knows? Who um, knows? What else we got? Uh, anyone had anything or no? No? Okay, move right along. We have Queen Lala sends in $5. Another girl in here supporting. Thanks for the support. She says, what if your man wants you to be all natural no weaves, lashes, makeup or nails. So none of that. Um, who's doing it? Starting with Kiki. I'll do it. Just for the simple fact, he seen me like that and he accepted me. So I think I'll get away with it. What about you? She like, yep. <laughs> Did you just say like, no? I mean, I like my nails. Just say no. I don't wear like lashes or hair or anything. No, I mean, but I do. I do like wearing makeup. no makeup though. I mean, that I'm all right. I'm okay with that. But if we're like going out though, like nah, it's all natural. That's how. That's the. That's what I say. I'm gonna say no for the nails because I. I all right, so you know. What about you, Faye? Um, I'll say yeah. Say yeah. Okay, fair. And I think that question is because you got to think about it like women, when they normally are going out, you advertise yourself. So and even Yatsu know about this good. Um, like if you truly peel back the layer to things, why Muslims have the woman wear hijabs? I'm not all, but for the most part, like that's a thing. You know what I mean? Um, and the reason why is to protect the woman from themselves. Because women, when you go out, you advertise yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, okay, less is more. So, yeah, no makeup, no nothing. Uh, if you with me, you got me, you had the makeup on. But now you with me, who, who you advertising yourself for? Take it off. So I guess where that question is kind of coming from. We got Jason Graham sends him $5. Ladies, do you realize that monogamy is a man-made concept? So can you ladies accept your husband having multiple wives with you being number one? Um, start with Gigi. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Let's, um, go with Faye. I already answered this. You say. Um, I'm open to it, depending. Okay. And what about you? No. Kiki. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. And, um, yourself. Yep. Okay. So the two Muslim women, they're open to it. The two, what are y'all? Y'all, um, I'm secular? Y'all believe in God or? I'm just out here. No, I'm, nah, I'm just <laughs> playing. Said, I'm playing. <laughs> she said, I'm just out here. Um, I believe in God. Are you Catholic? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you say yes, you say no, he will say cheat. 
So it's better go. <laughs> nah, it, my thing is, if you're gonna cheat, there is no us. We're like, I don't know. I no, think. no, no. It wouldn't be cheating because that's the agreement. Like he's just having. No, 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 no. She said like, if you say yes or no, like either way, he's gonna cheat. So if you. Oh, don't. that's what you said. Yeah. I didn't even peep that. And I'm you just like, mad well. um, if you're going to cheat, <laughs> cheat a realist. <laughs> next caller. Yo, she said if you say yes or no, you gotta cheat. So you might as well like, say yes. Is just like crazy to me like yo I can never accept fair enough uh we got red pill goku sends him five dollars he says ladies why do y'all women defend other women even if it's clear they're wrong automatically um why is it always a man's fault good question start with kiki i usually all right me personally i tell my like if I'm like let's say me, my homegirls is in a situation or whatever and they're really wrong, I usually tell them they're wrong. I don't have a problem with telling them they're wrong. I don't have I don't. I'm not gonna just blame everything on the guy. Not not not. Um, that is true. What if if it's your homegirl, like someone you close with, girls? Even would... someone I'm not close with. I mean, I have no reason to defend you anyway. So okay. Like if you're wrong, in my eyes, if you're wrong, you're wrong. How about let's try to answer this question generally, not personally. Um, so think of more objectively, not subjectively. So, uh, why do women generally defend other women, even if they're wrong? For an example, okay. you know, like, you know, in, in culture nowadays, girls be on a stripper pole and, you know, the girl don't, not even a stripper, the girl don't have only fans, the girl don't have any, none of that, but she'll be like, Oh, it's okay that she's stripping. It's okay that she has an only fans. Like do what you want to do, girl. Why do you think women tend to like, just, uh, let's say uh promote degenerate behavior um probably because of how we were raised and um i, I say probably because of how we were raised because we probably really don't see we probably genuinely don't see any wrong in it and um okay like genuinely and um or because most of the time I'm not saying the I'm talking for I'm, for I'm talking for majority of the men they usually don't even be they they ain't shit anyway so it just be like yeah like it's easy to just be like yeah like do what you do all right these what men a, ain't shit uh, oh wait I think it was another question why is it always oh, okay last question then for it why is it always the man's fault generally speaking like when something goes wrong like women tend to not really want to take accountability. Why is it always the man's fault? Like, why do you think that is? Well, like I said, usually it's just easier to be like, y'all y'all ain't shit anyway. We're just going to throw that in there, too, because y'all just ain't shit anyway. Not saying y'all doesn't mean y'all, like I said, doesn't mean you're actually wrong. But it's just, I guess it's just easier. Okay, so it's easier. To, okay. you know, deal with. I don't like being wrong, me personally, so. Okay. All right. Easier. <laughs> it's funny. It's the truth comes out. Uh, what about you? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, question is, oh, my women in general, why do you think they tend to pretty much go along to get along? Like, uh, when another woman is wrong, why don't she cause that other woman out? Like, why do you think that is? And um, it's probably not like that in Guinea, but, or it could be. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, why do you think? Well, because, like, if I see you in pain, then I will feel sorry for you. Then I can think about myself. The situation mm -hmm. you are in, maybe if it could be me, I would be in the same pain too, like you. Good reason. Mm -hmm. Heard what she just said. So she's pretty much just saying that, uh, you know, women tend to be, you know, try to be a little bit more sympathetic and say, you know, even if that person is, you know, wrong, eh, that could happen to me or I could be going through that. So let me like kind of sympathize and, you know, maybe feel sorry for the girl. Good question. I mean, good answer. Good answer. What about you? I feel like girls be like that. I don't be like that. But I think girls are like that because they don't want to hurt their homegirls' feelings. Like, I just feel like they just don't want to, like, hurt their feelings. If they're out doing what they do, but they're their friend or whatever, like, they just don't want to hurt their feelings and be like, yeah, you're doing, like, whore antics. Okay. Don't want to hurt. Okay, so kind of like hers. Don't want to yeah, hurt like their feelings. They just don't want to like hurt their feelings. Probably. Got it. So easy, more easy to just to deal with. <laughs> it's just like than, easier than just to tell somebody they're wrong for sure. Got it. So more easy to deal with, sympathizing, 
And then also the um, men's fault thing. Yeah, the men's. Well, it kind of goes in. It's kind of answering. It. It's the same. Yeah. What about you, Faye? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, question is, you know, why do women, generally speaking, why do women uh, tend to, um, uh, why do women, why do women defend other women even when they're clearly wrong? Um, I'm not sure. I keep everyone around me accountable. They do the same to me. I can't really speak for other women. Okay. Um, so not in your own, you know, anecdotal experience, but what about just generally, like, have you ever seen or had friends, maybe that wasn't close with you, or have you ever witnessed, like, oh, you know that chick is wrong, but then you see her other friend over here, like, just like, you know, not really telling her about herself, kind of just going along to get along. Yeah. You've seen that, right? Okay. So now the question is, like, why do you think that is? It could be two things. It could just be empathy. You know, you're sympathizing with them. Or they're just trying to be fake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Red Pill Goku, that was a good question. Yeah, I would say, for the most part, women tend to... It comes from a biological standpoint as well. Uh, women are more agreeable than men are agreeable. Women tend to go along to get along. Like when women are in leaderships, they look for, they usually cre create like a committee. Like, okay, everyone, you know, put in here and, you know, we'll kind of like, you know, draw straws to see, you know, what decision gets made. Men, we operate differently. We understand that the world operates in a hierarchy. So the strongest and more competent guy is usually the leader. And that dude is normally, you know, dictating things or it's, you know, you know, captain general, and it goes down the line. Women, they tend to just, you know, go along and get along. And, uh, they tend to cut to the woman's feelings rather than giving the truth. That's what I would say. Um, yeah, let's see here. Good question though. We have, that made the ladies think. I like that. We got Jelly N sends in $2. Uh, the prettiest panel of ladies I have seen so far. Okay, shout out to Oh, shout to out, thing. Shout out to y'all. Oh, someone that uplifts us. <laughs> we have uh, Holiday Tone sends in $5. He says, ladies, what uh, distinguish you from the other girls on the couch? The reason your opinion isn't valid is because men and women live two completely different lives. Okay. That was just his point after. So that's a good question. So um, let's start with you. Um, so what distinguishes you um, from the other girls on a couch? What makes you different than the other ladies here? <laughs> What make me different? Yeah. Because, like... I don't know. Go ahead, spit it out. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't try to coddle no feelings. <laughs> one, number one, I respect myself. Okay. And if I'm doing something... I should think first. Okay. If it's good or is it's bad. Mm -hmm. And the more I value myself, that's the way the other people will value me too. Okay. So basically she's saying that um, she got some sense and y'all nonsense. <laughs> basically. <laughs> okay. No, fair enough. She keeping it real. That, that's what she's, that's what she's, that what she sees and that's what makes her different. That's what, Fair enough. That's good. Um, what about you, Kiki? What makes you different? What makes me besides your uh, your jacket? Is the fact that nobody could ever physically be me. Period. Like, and um, we clearly. Um, I think what makes me different is like, yeah, no one can ever physically be me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anything better, Kiki? We all know no one can physically be you. I just wanted to make that note. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, we have I'll, different opinions we look at things differently. i'll help you out so the question is basically this the question is uh you know what distinguished you from the other girls 
So what makes you different? Instead of thinking of what makes you different, you could just, just think about yourself. You know what I'm saying? You could say, well, this is about me. So maybe that's different. So just answer like, what's special about you? I guess that can help. <laughs> that's a probably better question for you. So what's special about you? Steve, that's a better question, right? So maybe to get her to answer. All right, facts. Um, I see things differently, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Moving how to right answer along, that. Uh, to, Faye. To say that you guys don't think the way I think is crazy. <laughs> like. Faye, what makes you different than the other girls on the couch? I guess the way I present myself to the world, because I believe that what you show other people is how they will treat you, how they will approach you. So that's what I do differently. I guess we can accept that answer. What was different from what I said? It, it was kind of... Eh, think of something. Give, us, give something else. Like, for example, ladies, it could be the way you dress, your hair, okay. um, maybe your religion, maybe... Uh, you know, oh, I could have said know, that. The family, way I uh, it could be anything. Well, like, what makes you different? Well, <laughs> my culture, my religion. <laughs> okay, you just took my answer. Sorry, yeah. fair enough. Gigi, bring um, us home. I'm a very like artistic person. Like I feel like I see the world in like art. Like I'm just very artistic, creative. Um, and I'm also like very easy like going with the flow like i'm usually like okay i'm very spontaneous like i'm like the type of person that's down for like jumping out of a plane hanging out of a car you know going into a bank robbing it wait <laughs> what the heck Gigi? Wait, i just took out my wallet let me put my wallet back in my pocket <laughs> i'm just saying like i'm very adventurous like just like i'm very goofy and like quirky like, it's very, like, people tell me, like, I act like I'm, like, in a sitcom. I don't know. Very, like, down-to-earth, chill. Got it. Yeah. How long will you provide for a man until your loyalty runs out? Me, my loyalty and my provision uh, is not measurable. Like, they, them two are much different from each other. Well, yeah, we, well, like, we know it's different. You, my loyalty will stay to you. Okay. So, but the question is, how long will you provide for a man until your loyalty runs out? How you answered it was that if I'm loyal to him, I'm loyal to you. So I'll provide for a man forever. So you'll take care of a guy forever? To a degree. To a degree. So now that's what we want to know. What, what's that degree? In my culture, <laughs> I don't really believe in a woman providing. So in my culture, the man provides. Okay, got it. So, uh... Now, now let's give that degree. So how long, how many months, how many years? Just, just estimation. Just give a guesstimate. What do you think? Maybe it's a hypothetical. Years. That's more than enough time for the man to get back on his feet. Okay. So that man got three to four years to get on his feet until you're lo until you like, yeah, I'm kick rocks. I'm out of here. Got it. What about you, Gigi? Oh, that was a full question for everybody. Yeah. How long will I provide for him? Um, yeah, no. Well, how, yeah, how long will you provide for the man until your loyalty runs out? She said three to four years. What about you? He got six weeks? Wait, when you say provide, like, are we talking like, you, you, yeah, like you, I'm paying you all paying the, the bills, bills, paying all the food, uh -huh. driving everywhere. Yep. Yeah, I got like, pff, shit. Ah, three months, honestly. Three months. Okay. What about you? Wait, is he my husband or are we dating? Let's go with husband. Well, then that's different. That's probably like, nah, I don't know. He said, nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Fair enough. So three months. What about you? For lifetime. Until things get fine on you. For lifetime. Okay. For a lifetime. All right. Um, what about you? And you said husband? Yes. Um, until death do us part. <laughs> Kiki. That was good, Kiki. I like that. I like that. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> no, you lying, Kiki. Lying? 
No, that's, I know you guys don't believe I'm that type of person, but I really am. Kiki, I'm you not the man body here. slammed your last dude. <laughs> you hit the other dude with I a car and you pulled out the dreads from the other dude. And you ain't finna Facebook. provide for no guy I've been, forever. But I have been a changed person for a good year now. <laughs> so you, I'm not you, gonna lie, found, Kiki's changed. You found Thank Allah? You. She's changed. <laughs> Did you find Allah? No. Then you definitely ain't changed. I found God. Well, what I do guess you think? That's the same. No, thing, it's right? different. It, it is different. Like, huh? well, I don't it's know. It's different like, religion. Allah, Wait, but, what? Yeah, like I know. I, I mean, it means the same, but <laughs> what the does that sign say? Different. God is no, great. It's the same. Allah, it's the God same. Is the same. Oh, Allah but it's different views though about like we call it God in our land. Yes, but it's like the whole religion is completely different. There's similarities, but it's different. But all right, so listen to this though. I found I'm a changed person, no. and even if I was body slamming them, I never said I wasn't holding them down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Kiki, we gonna move it right along. And, you guys and, don't believe me? That's crazy. Like, I'm really nah, nah, nah. We don't, we don't. We that's cap. And Gigi is Allah and God is just the same. It's just different languages. What we yes, call God, but, they call Allah. The religion is separate than God. Religion is basically orders and it's law and order okay but, isn't it, okay but like we believe like jesus saved us they believe something different well well jesus was uh, the messiah yeah i'm just saying like and the religion's Muhammad, different like it's the same god but i'm saying it's different like pathways to get there like yeah, no nah, well we no nah, it's, it's both so like god is eternal no beginning no end and okay, I think both so if religions Kiki believe found that. God, she would probably go. <laughs> Kiki, you found God? I did. Kiki, you ain't find no God. <laughs> no, I didn't find him. you still got I'm that saying, jacket on. No, what I'm saying is <laughs> like, okay, what's here. What's wrong with this jacket? Like oh, my, no. Okay, for example, <laughs> like chaser. for me, Why they like at my in gym? my this religion, in we have Lent. Okay, so we yeah. give up something until Easter. They have different. They don't do that. They Ramadan, you know what I'm saying? It's different, like. Yeah, that's just the traditional stuff. I'm just saying. I get what you're saying. Different. Yeah, that's just it is so different. But like as far was, as God, yeah, everybody believe in. I go the to church. Same. I go to church. God. So pretty you're not much. gonna tell me I didn't find God because I be talking to God at church. Okay, you me go to church. Go together, when go the last back. time you been to church, Kiki? I went by on Sunday. You drove by. <laughs> <laughs> David, you're just getting oh, off. Kiki, you drove. I, I went by the church last Sunday. But you go out on, on Instagram and you looked at it like, let me scroll by. You scroll by on your phone? No, I, <laughs> I, went, I stopped phone. in. I stopped in. You stopped in. How long? What'd you do? Stopped in to use the restroom? No, I spoke <laughs> to the pastor. What'd you do? <laughs> and he relayed a message to God for me. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Did we get past this question? Did everyone go? How long will you provide for your men? Until, until your... death do us part. Okay, everybody went through and, it. And that's in Jesus' name, amen. Kiki, man. Uh, <laughs> moving right along. We got, uh, <laughs> let's see where the super chat's at. Yo. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, ladies. Okay, here's a uh, super chat. We got Chris sends him $5. Much respect, Cooley. Ask the ladies, why do a lot of women focus on makeup when going out well, why do why do a lot of women focus on makeup when going out versus going to the gym and improving their figure? Okay, good good question. Bad question. Um, it's obvious. We're speaking in general, starting with you, Faye. So, why do women focus on the ex? Well, not even next year. Yeah, why? Let's just do what he said. Why do women focus on makeup? Instead of really like going to the gym and getting their body right and stuff like that. Well, I do both. Well, not you. You're speaking in general. Because we, general? yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. You know, we, I'm sure you see the girls that got, they, they wear a whole lot of makeup, but they're not hitting the gym. They don't really care about it. That could be a self-respect thing. It okay. So self re, self-respect. So they have lower self-respect. They could have. Okay. Well, I'm asking you. That's what you're saying? I'm saying it could be a multitude of reasons of why they're not putting in the work to actually look good. Oh, and one of those reasons is self-respect. Got it. What about you, Gigi? I feel like it doesn't even correlate. Like, if you're not in shape, you're not in shape, but you put on makeup because you want to, you, you feel like you look pretty with it. Like, there's no, like, correlation. And nobody wears makeup to the gym because you're going to sweat it off. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, like, what the hell? Pretty much Chris <laughs> is saying, like, ladies, 
makeup don't really make you look more beautiful working out and having a good figure is really what does it okay yeah yeah sure that's a good opinion so now, chris <laughs> Clap good it up. Opinion, good opinion, good opinion by Chris on the podcast. On the podcast. That's what he observed, <laughs> and I can validate his observation. That's what okay. we all observe. So yeah. if you may have not observed that. If you haven't observed that, totally fine. But if you have if you've ever lived in reality and you did observe that, why do you think that is? Okay. From a general standpoint. Yeah, why do women tend to focus on makeup rather than Hitting that gym and getting that ah right lazy, lazy. Okay, good. Yeah. So Simple. that's all we want. We're looking for answers. So you said um, maybe uh, self esteem. No, you said so what was the word you used? They don't want to put in the hard work to actually get healthy. Okay, so it's like self lower self worth. I think that's what you said. And then um, you said lazy. What about you? In my opinion, like you know, some women makeup yeah you don't buy that you cannot buy beauty for your face but if you if you go to gym if you want to make your waist small or your butt you know you can buy that oh i see see what you're saying so so it's like ah like freak the gym because i could i could buy this figure so Mm. let me just throw in this makeup for now until i got enough money to buy it fair enough what about you kiki Okay, so as y'all can tell, I don't go to the gym because I'm not motivated. And it's much easier to just bat some makeup on the mirror. I don't have to do much. Just sit in front of my vanity and bat some makeup. Literally. So you validate her point. So, like, yeah, I'm a little lazy. Okay, and enough. um, another thing I want to touch on is you could get your body right and still be ugly in the face. Yeah, but most dudes accept the... The, 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 I mean, the I'm ratchet not, face. I'm, no, I know That's guys. Crazy. With a crazy no, I know body. guys will fuck a fucking roach if they have a nice body. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, that's Literally. what they go for. Definitely. And the, the reasons why, though, that is true. So men, um, generally speaking, right? Not all, but generally speaking, men tend to prioritize body over face. Like they'll take a ten body with a five face. They'll take a seven body with a four face like body would normally go over and it comes from a biological perspective because it's the coke figure the small waist and the wide hips that means that from a biological standpoint that shows that a woman can give successful births because before c-sections was invented um you know the the woman had to have the wider hips to fit the baby's head through properly, right? Because, you know, C-section, C-sections only happen because the baby is turned the wrong way. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So wider hips means that that baby got enough room to move around to get through head first. So when <sighs> and so it comes from literally, okay, she could birth my kids. Is this going to be a good birth? And then also the sexual <laughs> aspect. Well, that's what I'm telling you from a biological standpoint. Just and I'll flip it on the woman's side. Like, why do you think that you're attracted to guys with nice arms and broad shoulders? Just like when you look at a guy, you see him, it's like that 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 T shape. You're attracted to the T shape, the you know, hair, chest, shoulders, arms mm-hmm. in this area. Like legs, chicks don't really give a freak about legs yeah, too much. Do. Why do you think my legs skinny? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> hey, I did legs today, man. I ran, uh, I ran five miles. I went in, did some. Actually, I did full body workout today, man. Um, yeah. So that's why. Anyways, uh, let me see. Was that all? Yeah, you was the last person that answered it. Good. Holiday tone says in two dollars. Oh, Appreciate holiday. the support, bro. See, this is why I say stop the cap six months max. Yeah, that's when you ladies were speaking about... I said three months. You said three. You were good. But that's when you said three three to four years. He's saying that stop the cap for you and stop the cap for you when you but said you forever. Said, but you said husband. Now, if it's you just too. a nigga I'm fucking with, you got me fucked up in the first three weeks. But I'm just <laughs> saying, if this is our husband, I, I chose you for a reason. Okay, fair okay. enough. Or vice versa. We got uh, Mike Nice is in $2. He said, breaking point. <laughs> we got... Uh, uh, Alter Creed, um, he sends in $10. He says, ladies, oh, welcome back, man. He says, ladies, if you and your husband make the exact same amount of money, which is uh, 75K each with no kids, 
and no desire for kids, does he still have to provide for you? If so, what is your money for? Okay, that's a good question. Let's start with Faye. So Faye, if you and your man is making the same amount of money, $75,000 a year, and you don't want to have kids, and there's no desire for kids, would you still expect him to provide for you? I would say yes. To answer his second question, what is my money for? Yeah, like then, so yeah. then it's like, okay, you said yes. So then, God dang, what's the money for? Well, like, what is your money for if he's providing for you? It would be for, well, for no kids. That's tricky. But know, it's still a yes. Say, I would say no. So then, no. Yeah. Okay. Good, good question. Good question. What about you? I feel like if we going out on a date, a guy usually like wants to pay anyway. But you talking about long term, like if yeah, yeah, y'all both making seventy five thousand dollars a year, um, and uh, are would you still and you got no kids and you got no desire to have kids, would you still expect him to provide I wouldn't for you? Expect him to, but if he wants to, okay, okay, all right, fair enough. What about you? Y'all making the same amount? You would still expect him to provide for you? Yes. If it was no kids. All right. And then it's like, because you're making 75K a year and he's making 75K. Now the question is, what is your money for if he's providing for you? Because if I make my money, I bring everything to you. Yo, she the realest. She said, my money is for him. If I'm making a 75, uh, I'm giving you that 75. Okay. Mother Africa. Um, bringing us back to the motherland. What about you, Kiki? All right, so if we're making the same, yeah, I would say I would. I guess I would if we're making the same thing. Yeah. I wouldn't like it's not mandatory, but it would be nice if you still provided for me, and then my money would be for all the stupid things I don't even need that I can just spend on, like food, clothes, fun, all the stuff I don't need anyway. It would just be like, that would be cool, like, to just live like that. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, wait, hold on. We need food to survive, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I'm yeah. saying, like, the stupid so, junk food. So your answer is you'll still you'll still want them to provide, yeah? and then Not your, mandatory, but it'll be nice. Okay, and then your money would be for just extra stuff to help out, you're saying? Yeah, like. All right, got yeah. it. Good question. I see where you're going with that. Um, we have, uh, Cedric Phillips sends him $5. He says, number one is a woman, a wife before or after marriage. Good question. Number two. Okay. Let's go with number one first. <laughs> uh, Kiki, number one is a woman, a wife is a woman, a wife before or after marriage. I'd say before. Cause why? You can't marry someone and then try to make them a wife. You got to see those. I feel like you you should want to see those qualities and then before you decide to marry them. Okay. What about you? You can be wife material when you are dating. You could be wife material when you are dating, but you ain't actually wife. Facts. There we go. What about you? Yeah, I feel like I I agree with what she said. Don't be trying to what? Peter Pan. <laughs> I never actually do that. Go ahead. But it's true. You do. I mean, what she said was true. No, nah, not really. You're right. I don't ever do that. Well, uh, Faye? Out and about when you're dating, you're not going to act like a wife to a man, any man that you're vetting. But you can be wifey material. After marriage, you're a wife. Okay. So you said that when you are dating a man, you know, you're not going to be acting like a wife. Not to every like man. every single thing that a wife does, but you will have the qualities of a wife. Okay, so I mean that you still, okay, fair enough. So you're agreeing with what she said. Got it. Gigi, you had something? I was going to say, yeah, because I mean, I feel like I kind of act like that, like if I'm in a relationship, like I really would do like anything. But besides, besides the threesome, but everything else, like... I pretty much would do, so I don't know. So, yeah, but then it's like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got um, Lord G- uh, <laughs> Geatron sends in $2. He says, what if you're built like a large water bag? <laughs> Yo, y'all crazy in the chat. Um, yeah, bro. They they ain't finna answer that. Lord Geatron again sends in $2. But she found God. Stop swearing, Kiki. So you can't believe in God and find God and not curse? I don't cuss. Whatever, David. Where's that where's that little thing at? I don't cuss. Why? Have, I mean I say the I say the N word. Why? Nigga this, nigga that, nigga please. Can you lend a can you can you lend a nigga? Can you lend a can, can nigga a pencil? <laughs> 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 Y'all seen that meme, huh? Yeah, yeah that jungle funny. was funny. Oh, uh, I mean, I wasn't born on this earth perfect. Fair enough. Curse? We got Cuss? yeah, like you're supposed to go confess your sins. Everyone's a sinner. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get to a stage of where I don't swear. I'm not there yet. Yeah. Uh, and actually, before I finish up these super chats, ladies, I got any questions? You want to start or anything about dating and relationships? Anything y'all want to talk about and or know about and you know, anything? Give me a second. Wingstop. I, I feel like I would, Wingstop does sound really good. I don't know if that has anything to relationship, but in a relationship, right. it's important. Where you would you take a? a never mind. I have questions. Sure. Like you are dating with someone, mm-hmm. you you love her. Yeah. But you have something. You like something in your. I don't know what to say. You have something in you. You don't want her to know about that. Because if she know about that, then you will lose her. So what can you do about that? And you don't want to lose her. And if she found out about that thing, she will be mad of you. Okay, this is a good question. Um, I don't think this will go around the panel type question. I think this is just for me to answer. So it could go vice versa for men and women. So, you know, if, if a woman has something inside, you know, that she's hiding or if a man has something inside that he's hiding and he knows that or she knows that if they tell that person, it's going to ruin the relationship, what you should do. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. You got to keep it no fugazi and just tell them <laughs> you got to keep it no fugazi. It's like this for a man. Um, part of masculinity is not. It's not about not caring, but not being afraid to lose the woman based off of being a man. You know what I mean? So that's part of masculinity, meaning that, hey, man, like I got these flaws or I have this about me. Uh, Here it goes. Here's the truth. If I lose you, I lose you. If I don't, then cool. As a woman. Yeah, women. uh, That's why it's the saying is, you know, be a man of your word not a woman of your word because normally women ain't a woman of their word um yeah what do you do i think you still should be honest and you just gotta suck it up i think oh, honesty plays a part it, honesty will get you far because once you lie you, you got to keep up with that lie and that small lie it doesn't just affect the person that you're lying to, but what it truly affects is you because you live with the lie that's why it's a good question like if it's eating you up but you know if you tell them, it's going to hurt them too. So you want to continue to be ate up by your own lie or you just want to go ahead and shout it out? So that's what I say to move on. What you got, Kiki? Okay, I have a question for you. Sure. All right, so I'm sure you don't go through this in life, but um, how do you feel about being with someone that has kids? Um, generally or speaking. Kid or kids, period. Just That's not yours. Yeah. I mean, generally speaking, um, I would suggest that a man, if he doesn't have any kids, he shouldn't date a woman that has kids. Um, f- that's from a mitigating risk standpoint. Now, what about like, like vice versa? For I'll give you all the whole aspect. Let's stick with the man and then I go to the woman. Okay. If the man has a kid, well, it's not as crazy or won't it it may actually depending on if you have full custody of the kid in your situation it may actually be beneficial to get a chick that has a kid because if you get a chick that don't have a kid she may not understand certain things she may not be it'll be hard to see if she's mother material um so yeah that's what i would say if you have a kid eh, it ain't that bad to get a woman that has a kid 
Um, I still, if if you can get a woman without any kids, that's still gonna, you know, submit to you and follow your lead. If you can find that one while you have kids, still try to go that route. But it wouldn't hurt if you do get a woman that has a kid, if the man has a kid. Now going to the woman. Well, when a woman enters a relationship with the man, she's not under the conditions of providing for protecting and providing for that relationship. So that means that her job is nurturing. So when a woman gets with a man that has a kid, that's totally fine. It's not like she got to protect and provide for that kid anyway. She only got to nurture that kid. So the difference is when a man gets with a woman that has a kid, well, he got to protect and provide. He got to provide resources for that other kid that ain't his. So it's really the man takes a L if he doesn't have any kids at all. Overall, even if he does have kids, you still it from a how can I say it from a uh, societal standpoint, you still take the L as the man. If you got a kid or if you don't got kids, you date a chick that got kids from a societal standpoint, it's still like nigga other men gonna be like ah yeah that's that's just how they're gonna look at it but from a personal standpoint that could have been the best situation that was for you so that's what i'll say but yeah it's a difference when a man has when a man is dating a woman with uh, a single mother or a woman is dating a man that's a single father is just totally different because the man has to provide and he's expected to provide for her kids at some point so that's what sucks okay i have questions Sure. Like you are you are created ball and you have so many girlfriends. And you just get silent marriage. You get married, <laughs> you no no nobody know and none of your girlfriend know if you get married. You get married like in secret. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? No way. Like getting married like married that. in private. Like no one knows y'all even got married. You just yes. you do like a private like, marriage. Mm-hmm. Oh. And you never post no picture, nothing so like no that. So no one even knows. It's just Did like a secret. Did you love that girl or what you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could go around the panel with this I one. Mean, that's a little suspect. Like, why would you? If you're that could actually marry. go. So what if a man married you, but he ain't, it was very small. He ain't won a big wedding or anything. And it wanted to very secretive. He ain't post no pictures or nothing. What would you think about that? Okay. So what were you saying about the multiple other girlfriends? Is that included or... <laughs> <laughs> it could be included or excluded, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of excluded and it's private. That's fine. I'm a very private person. Uh, included and he still went it private. Included, <laughs> that's weird. Why do you? Why are you marrying someone and you have? In my opinion, okay. Maybe he still want to date with that girl's them. Because if you yeah. see, if you you see him during like secret marriage, he never post his wife picture, nothing like that. Nobody know. <laughs> He said want to go back. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Like if a man is if a man has I get what you're saying, like if he has multiple girls or whatever and um and the other girl knows about it that he marries but he doesn't post her, mm-hmm. obviously the other girls ain't cool with it. So that could be a logical reason um to look at it that way. Like, ah oh, yeah, you're doing something shady, buddy. Why are you hiding me? Are you Drake hiding your kid from the world and the world from your kid? <laughs> so I, I get what you're saying. Uh, any other questions before I get to the Super Chats? No? Okay, and then we're going to get into this game. All right, we got uh, uh, Yobi Leem sends in $10. He says, sup, brother? Official ratings for the ladies. So here's uh-huh. another rating. Here we All go. Right. Sorry, when we here we freaking go. All right, um, I think we starting over here. Yeah, starting right here. He says, discount jellyfish Megan the Stallion. Three. <laughs> Megan the Stallion. Yeah, uh, he has. Discount wait, jellyfish, Meg the Stallion. Dean, I, mean, I don't know who you're talking about on this one. So it wasn't that funny. Bro, which way you going, Steve? You see, you see who you talking about? <laughs> I guess you gotta be going over. Hold on, let me keep reading. Meg the Stallion is is like hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We over here with you. I see where we're going. I got it, Steve. So, yeah, you were discount jellyfish making the Italian year three. He has, he rates you, witch, doctor, um, <laughs> uh, Meldick, uh, dang, she got a bulletproof jawline. Four. 
<laughs> this thing is stupid. Oh, no. Why would your jokes be that long, bro? Uh, right, so, so we got three, four. Then we got uh, carne asada hot dog lips, four. <laughs> Talk about you. <laughs> That's actually a good one. We got, uh, oh, then last but not least, we got evil Selena G- Gomez, three. <laughs> Yo. These are such boo. That like, was so ass. Nah, like, the evil. bits are ass. That I'm was not gonna lie. His ankles like drier than his ankles. All that like. That was type funny, ladies. Yo, uh, I'm so. That was, that was I barely laughed. That, that was, was good, bad. bro. Oh, other guy, whoever said the things before was kind of funny. Like, yeah, the ones before were more funny. They were, that this was one was funny. like maybe, a maybe. little weird. It made me chuckle a little more. We got uh, Nasha Molina sends in two dollars. It's another girl. Damn, we got some women in here. Um, she says, what's something you would change about yourself? Mm. Good. Start with Gigi. Oh. Uh, hmm. I feel like I need to give people more chances. I'd be ready to just cut somebody off very fast. Like, they do something to me, you're cut off. Like, I don't really be trying to hear, like, their perspective or anything. Like, if there's something weird done, you're immediately cut off. Like, I feel like I need to kind of, like, give more. Okay, I guess in, like, a guy aspect, sometimes there's, like, if I get, like, the ick for, like, one second, I'm just so quick to just cut them off. I feel like I need to just kind of, like, stop the ghosting, kind of, like... Fair enough. What about you, Faye? What's something you would change about yourself? I would say my communication skills. Sometimes I don't really communicate clearly what I want. Like in a relationship? That's what it's pertaining to. Yeah, in a relationship. Okay, cool. Um, What about you, Kiki? You gonna stop slamming niggas? I I Running people over? I already stopped that. All right. Um, But you said it's in a relationship? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about relationship. Oh! Well, well, what she was talking about, that's why I reverted it to a relationship, but it could just be in general. What's something you would change about yourself? Okay, because I have two things. Physically, I would change my body and get my body done, period. You want to um, just get in the gym? <laughs> like, I mean, like, get my body done so I can skip the gym. You're trying to take the easy route. Yes. Yo. Yes. I'm, I'm a little Maintain lazy. I'm a, I don't have motivation. But then like, if you get the body, that like Faye said, Faye said, if you get the body done, you got to maintain it. You still got to be in a gym. The, I feel like, and it's crazy to say, I just, I say this, like, I feel like one time my body done, I wouldn't mind going to the gym. But I'm what? probably lying. That's backwards. Yeah, I'm probably lying anyway. But, you know, it's just, I, that's how I think, like. I would, I would definitely. At least you honest. I'm just that, not you motivated in the gym. When I go to the gym and I see other people, I'd be like, take, just take your ass home. Like, just go home, turn around. So I'm not that motivated. And then, um, I feel like I would change, um, how clingy I am. Like how clean, like, because that what, I think that's also like what hurts me in the wrong, long run. Like when I, when I go through a breakup or something, even though half the time I do the breaking up, I'm mostly sad because like of the alone feeling but clingy you would change so you'd be too clingy you'd be annoying no i'm not annoying but like how i mean clingy could be annoying like clingy clingy can be annoying i'm not like all right so how i would change how i get used to a person and then i'm just like once i'm used to that person i'm comfortable like i don't know it's like so when i like i said when i i don't know what you would call it but when i break up with somebody i get sad because i'm used to being around that person yeah, I mean, everybody will get like that when you break up with the person. So if I could change that, whatever that is. No, I no, would. you can't change that. Oh. <laughs> That's normal. That's what everybody feels. You break up with the person, you've been so comfortable with them. Even guys feel it, even if they got options. After you break up with a chick or the girl, you know, the girl breaks up with the guy. I mean, obviously, um, you got to adjust. You can't get rid of that. That's just human nature. Yeah. All right, so I would change um, how. Moving right along. I shut down. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. I got you it. shut down. Okay. He just swears I'm just this horrible person. But anyway, no, I, I would change, that. like how I like how I shut down and like communicate more. Okay, so you be just shutting down. Sometimes like, I just like. Fair enough. Got it. What about you? What's something you would change about yourself? Nothing. 
Nothing. Yeah. Mother Africa, no, no, I I am God's child. <laughs> okay. Yes, of course. Now you can't think of one thing though. I know you're not perfect because Jesus, don't you, well, y'all believe in Jesus and you believe, well, that's a good question. Do you believe that Jesus was more perfect than Muhammad? Yes. Okay. So therefore Jesus was perfect. And then, then it's like right after perfection, do you think it was Muhammad or would you say like King David or, uh, or Moses? Muhammad. Muhammad. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Do you think that you're even better than Muhammad or? Go for a bit. Of course not. Not. Got you. So that means that there is something that you could think of that you could change. <laughs> like one thing about me, I have to change. I have to. Gigi, what the heck was that? <laughs> Why are you making animal noises, yeah, yo? Because I said sack for lie. I put my spirit out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's. I, I was like, I was I in my head like, my Did religion. She spit? <laughs> Mm -hmm. yes. That's why I say he asked me if he, if I am better than Mohammed. That's why I say sack full life. Right, right. Yes. Because okay. you never be better than that. One. Right. You never. Okay. So what's something you would change? One thing. Like if we, if I imagine something in my mind, it will happen. <laughs> she dang. So she's saying like if I want to change, I could change. But currently, right now, you don't see anything you could change. <sighs> Okay, even even women, uh, you know, that's you know, they still, you know, still nothing. To, fair enough, fair enough, man. Good question, chat. I see where you're going with that. Um, we have all right. So we're gonna get to the games. First game, uh, catch a balloon. Catch one. It definitely caught me. Okay. All right, let's get you one. And I have one question. Too. Oh, that one fell. <laughs> Let me get you another one. You want you want to save it before it save it save it. Don't forget it. Ugh. All right. So, first game we playing with the balloons. <laughs> we gonna see how fast. Oh we gonna see who God. has the best blowing skills. Like really see who bizarre. can blow up the blow up the balloon the fastest. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll just do the countdown. Chat. Uh, let me get the wide angle. So if wait 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 wait. So if you blow. One of them may say they're done and the other's not done. Yeah yeah. Well no, we, I'm gonna do the time limit. No 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 no. But I'm saying it has to like. They yeah. don't have to like. It all should be the same size. So yeah. How, how uh, that okay. Let's do it too. Yeah. You got what I'm saying. Uh. I'm about to say that big ass. <laughs> let's get this. Oh. I didn't come out here to blow balloons, so. <laughs> so if you blow the balloon, what that one mean? It don't mean nothing. It just means that you win the contest, and then we gonna play get into the real game. Do I really win? Funny well, guy. He just blown up anyway. I guess I, I win. Guy. I guess so. I win free wing top. All right. <laughs> right. Here's the rules. So you gotta blow the balloon up to this size here, and you got a time limit. So it's gonna be timed. And it should not spot, uh, pass about this size, right? Yeah. Once it get to this size, I'll let you know. Like, okay, boom, you got it. Boom, you got it. Boom, you got it. Okay. All right? So, <laughs> let's see who got the best blowing skills. This is called, uh, blow his mind. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. We got to name, we got to name the game. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, get to the stop. Get to the stop watch. Okay, on your mark. Uh, Dan, be good on a, let's not do the wide angle, actually. Let's do, flip it back and forth between them. On your mark. Still get it on the girls. Real quick, yeah, back and forth. Okay, y'all ready? Get set, go. <laughs> oh, we this couch winning over here. Y'all don't got nothing. Dude, this shit is the stuck. black girls no, got this it. Shit is stuck, the bro. black girls winning. Wait, hold on. This shit is definitely stuck. You stuck. The black girls no, winning. Yeah, these balloons are stuck. <laughs> They're not she blowing. won. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Mommy Africa got it. Okay, who next? Something's wrong with this balloon, Tie it up, tie it up. Wait, something's actually That's wrong with the balloon. That's good, tie it up. I ain't gonna lie. God dang, it popped. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, something's <laughs> wrong with this balloon. That was mad. That was I can't even, like, there's something's wrong with it. Like, GG. You see me blow up balloons before. Like, I ain't see you blow up. Oh, yeah, you did blow up the, the balloons. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you still. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> this couch trash, man. End the game. But this shit's not going. Like end the game. <laughs> Bro, this is uh, not so going. chat. If y'all was know. wondering, uh, <laughs> which girls like got balloons. the best uh, 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 head skills? It's the black girls. They win. Ah, the black girls win. The uh, the white girl and uh, the the Arabic, Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern. Trash. Y'all got no blow skills. Okay, bet. All right. So take a balloon. We passing out balloons. We about to play a game now. Here, balloon for you. That's yours. Steve, get those pins over there. Oh, that was that one. That's for you. Thank you. GG. Hmm? And one for you. And I'm going to get the red one. All right. So this game is called... You good, Dan? This game is called... Uh, yeah, this game is called No Fugazi or Fugazi. So we're going to go around the panel and we're going to, we get to, y'all can all participate. We ask each other questions, right? And if you think someone is being Fugazi, you pop your balloon. How? How do you pop it though? We got the pins. Steve, you got the pins. Yeah, yeah, bring them over here. I don't like Nah, nah, bring, give me my keys. We could just bring a pin on this couch and a pin on that couch. No, nah, no, nah, give, oh, put give a, them the one. Keep hat. I'm hot. No, 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 give me my keys. That's good. I'll give you the keys. Um, someone else got keys? Gigi, you probably got your keys. Nah, they can yeah. share that. They can share that one. We good. Well, no, no, I can get my keys and then Gigi has her keys. It's good. They can share it. We'll yeah. share a pen. Yeah, they can All share good. it. All right, so y'all get the rules of the game. I don't like So everybody can ask questions. It's a free for all. Royal Rumble. You ask any person a question, and the key is you got to keep it no fugazi. If we think you keep it in no fugazi, we ain't going to pop our balloon. But if we think that you are being fugazi, we pop in our balloon. And then we're out of the game? Yeah. Well, we got more balloons. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because how many you got? Like. So, um, anyone want to go first? Ask someone a question? David? Sure. What question you got? No, like you. Oh, you want me to go first? Sure. Uh, Gigi. Yeah. Um, have you ever homie hopped? God oh, dang. Better not lie. Uh, yes, I have. You think? Uh, I have. Being real? She I homie have. Hop? You think she being real? I have. Okay, okay. I have. Um, we know you homie hopped. Like such <laughs> an asshole. Like. Is your body count over five? No. She. <laughs> oh, Gigi. Gigi, think you being fugazi? You know what? Yeah, I think you being fugazi too. I don't have you think so? Be the All right. Quiet yeah. Be the Just quiet ones. Pretty doesn't mean I sleep around. No, not because you're pretty. Didn't no, she said that. quiet. Yeah, yeah, she said. Didn't think that. No, I'm just putting it She's, out there. She said quiet. Okay. Uh, all right. Ask questions, ladies. I'm going to give you some more balloons. Steve, actually, come over here. I have a question. Okay. Ask your question. Blow those up. Bro, I don't have blow come on, bro. I got asthma, bro. I got asthma. Huh. I don't know if I got enough lungs. Enough lungs. What's your we question? <laughs> okay. We got one over there. What what reason the girls them they are doing their body? They doing it for their self or they doing it for men? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 repeat that. that? Yeah. What was the question? <laughs> wait, ask that. Wait. Bring your mic closer. We ain't here. Uh, who, wait, who you asking it to? The, everybody? Yeah. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, I said what reason the girls they are doing their butt body like body done? They doing it for their self or they doing it for men? Both. Oh, well, no, nah, we got to ask a specific question to the person. That's like a general question for us to like kind of give our perspective on. Ask like, uh, I go again. Faye. Actually, I went to, I already did Faye and I did Gigi. <laughs> Kiki, um, do you ever think about the dude that you homie hopped from? Yeah. 
Ooh, okay, okay. Dang, you better hope the current guy don't see this. No, I'll explain it to him, too. But, I mean, we've talked about it. His sex game was better? No. Oh. <laughs> I believe that. So why do you think about him? That I believe. Wait, do you believe that it was? Oh, you believe no, her? No, I believe her. Her yeah. statement. I, I, I mean, I'm honest. Like, I'll say it. Because she's, she's your friend. Yeah. So you know everything about her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. So, yeah, she knows... That's a we good. That's a good people. size, Dan. Because if not, they're gonna pop. Yeah. No fugazi. No fugazi. Okay. Um. Dang. Good. But good you one. said. Oh, no, we not next. Okay. Uh. Y'all don't got no questions. Come on, ladies. No, Live no. it up a little Thank bit. Y'all I boring. <laughs> Ask anybody a question. Y'all don't got nothing. Okay. I'll go again. Mommy Africa. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Have you ever been jealous of, because I'm sure you've been in relationships with guys and they had other girls. Have you ever been jealous that you wasn't number one? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. She was, she was jealous. She wanted that number one position. Hmm. Faye, uh, did a guy ever, <laughs> did you ever have a one night stand? One night stands. No. She had to think too long. <laughs> right. Definitely had a one night stand. <laughs> had to think too long. Let me uh, throw those over here, Dan. Nice, Dan. Blowing up the balloon. Yeah, I only got two. Let me see. Let me get one. Pass that old. Get that blue one. Good work, Dan. I can't. Dan, kick that blue one over here for her. GG. Here you go. Chat, we do it live. We do it live, chat. I'm Kiki. She's Gigi. Go ahead. Kiki, right there. Kiki. Gigi. Oh, I love that name. Gigi. All right. Gigi. Ladies, any questions? Come on. Love it. I know y'all got questions. Okay, like, I'm trying to I'm think. Trying, I'm honestly trying to think. Like, it could be, like, any question at all. Any question to, to me, to the girls. I'm trying to think of a question to even ask. Like, right. Like, yeah, man, we got to play this. Y'all boring, man. So what you got? All right. Uh, All right, David, I got a question for you. Is that allowed? God dang. Yeah, that's allowed. Go ahead. Have you ever cheated on your girl before? No. The heck? I don't do that. Where's the pen? <laughs> what the? Pen. Uh, right now. <laughs> Thank you. What <laughs> the? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That's messed up, man. Uh, Gigi, I got a question for you. I need a balloon. <laughs> uh, yeah? <laughs> have you ever got trained? Can no. Absolutely not. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, I'm on some serious. Dan, you got it. I mean, Steve, you got to switch. Hell no. That's actually <laughs> fuck no. That's Wait, crazy. Popping the balloon is nuts for that. That's gross. Uh, I think that was cap. I don't even want to be in a like, room like. Oh, he's... I don't even do the like. Your home going. Mm -mm, mm -mm, like no, not even. Can't be multiple people in the room either. Yeah. All right, let's see what the chat's saying. The chat probably got some questions for us. Yeah, actually, yeah, they the might have questions. <laughs> Kiki needs a balloon. They hate me. Love time. the pod. <laughs> Nobody hates you, Kiki. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they hate me. I don't know why. I don't <laughs> ah, I just be good question. Too. Dan, um, Dan's good. The show, must show must continue. Let me get to the super chats while y'all think of questions. How about that? Think of questions. Dan is blowing up balloons, and I'll get to the super chats. So we got... Uh, Holiday Tone sends him $5. He says, ladies, the girl on your left, give her one piece of advice that she can improve on as a woman. Kiki, a little less food might benefit you and your man. Yo. The God dang. The That's fucked. Tone. They, they hate me for no reason. Tone Not ruthless. Real, like, I don't give a <laughs> shit, though, because I'm going to go home to my nigga and be loved on anyway okay let's start uh, let's start with Gigi. so the question is um because she's to your so you're gonna rate uh her uh well not rate so it says well yeah that's what you're gonna do so the girl to your left give her one piece of advice that she can improve on as a as a woman so i'm gonna be honest i don't really know her like that to give that information she seems like a very qualified well put together person so i don't i don't know i don't know her like that to give her advice you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't just based on appearance and meeting her for like ten minutes. I can't really give her advice. I don't know her. Fair enough, but from your current observation, um, I 
don't know. I, re- that's what I really he's, that's have what no he's idea. Saying. You got nothing? Maybe. Anything. Maybe, like, I don't know. I'm going to say maybe. I don't know. Spit I really it out. Don't There's know. something on the tip of your tongue. You wanted to say it. Just say I'm it. I'm trying to think, bro. This is a like, safe place. We've all been on multiple like, times. Maybe don't let, if you get a husband, don't let him have another wife so quick. I don't know. <laughs> maybe try to be that number one spot over. Don't 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 be number two. Be number one. Cause you could be number one. Always. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. And then you're trying to change her religion. But no, no, that's no, fine. No, I, I, I had to say something. Like, and that's God all dang. I know really so far. So. Uh, Faye, um, you got to give Gigi advice. One one piece of advice. Um, I don't really know. Like she said, I don't know these women too well to give critiques. But or... yeah, I know. Just on what currently, what you're saying. Say, like, Gigi didn't know anything about her, but yeah. you could just. Maybe just make the liner a little more thinner. It will really bring out your eyes more. <laughs> Dang, what? Gigi, she trying to say you look Not crazy. Oh, so we <laughs> doing looks up, or? We could do anything. We could do anything. Okay, no, that's good advice. You said make the liner thinner. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's what we want. All right. And, and ladies, <laughs> I'll explain to you why the chat asks questions like this, because I'm sure you're probably curious, but I can tell you why after. Um, now on to, oh. Yeah, now you got to give her a piece of advice. Um, One piece of advice for Faye. um, She just tried to crap on your friend. Like, yo, your (laughs) liner is thick, bro. Um, I got big eyes. Like, your liner is perfect. Bro, listen. Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um... Um, I think maybe, um, hey, hey, I don't think I can't. I'm speak trying to Kiki, find speaking something. on mic, too. Hey. If I had something to say, I would have said it right away, but I'm trying to. All right, go ahead. Think real long and hard. Kiki, uh, hurry up. You always okay. take long. I don't know. Speaking of mic, too. I'm sorry, but it's like, uh, like, what can I? I don't know. Her answers made it seem like. She's like so perfect in relationships, so it's like, what can I say? <laughs> but it could be looks, it could be anything. Anything. She looks fine. I guess. I mean, dang, Kiki, not, bro, like, we got. I don't like what I, I'm Kiki, trying to think. You slam your boyfriend, so obviously he That's needed the piece so of advice. So oh, give this oh, woman a piece advice of advice. And I do stuff like that, right? Um, obviously you don't hold back if you running niggas over with the car, so don't hold back. Um, I would just say my advice is. Don't be all right. This I don't all right. I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna word this. Like don't, cause she might be answering based on how she really feels, but don't be like don't answer based on like what you think my a guy wants to hear. Answer on like how you really feel. But like you might be answering, so it's like. But that's that would be my only advice. No, I appreciate it though. Yeah. That's bad advice. You definitely. <laughs> she out know. here on a podcast trying to market herself. Freak feelings, feelings are fleeting. They come and go. She want to market herself right and answer what what she think guys want. That's what I would advise any woman to do. Freak your feelings, even though you. But feel, then where's the uh, honesty in that? <laughs> where's, because, where's the honesty I mean, then? That is feelings really? Then it makes it hard for you to have fleeting? opinions on women if they always say what you want to hear. No, no, no. How are you gonna? Isn't it how called no fugazi? Yeah, nah. like what? What, yeah, what happened yeah, yeah, to no nah, nah. Like, why not, would you just say that's that? That's not no fu- That's not no fugazi. <laughs> that's actually because at the end of the day, women are always feeling things, and yeah. their feelings always change. And that's what change. helps you make your points and opinions on us. So we gotta be honest. Wait, so that. you want us to no, come no, on no, here no, and lie? So no, I'll come on here and say what I come on here and say what I think you want to hear. It'll make the podcast real boring. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. So what do you? So listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying that. Women in general are always in their feelings anyway. So your feelings are fleeting. So instead of speaking how you feel, speak how you speak what you think. That's what I'm giving her advice. Your advice to her was, well, girl, go with how you feel. You feel that. Oh, do you really feel that, you know, men in this way? Like to your answers. If you don't feel that way, don't say that. I'm saying that, uh, no, 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 freak that advice. That's dumb advice. Don't ever go how you feel because your feelings are fleeting and you can't, a woman can't really trust her feelings. So you want to go based off of what you think, 
Like she said, okay. she she gave an answer. She said, well, before I do anything, remember in the beginning of the podcast, she was like, before I make decisions, even before I speak, I think. And a man would respect that because that's what you was talking about. You was like, one, I'm going to be respectful. Two, I'm going to be loyal to submissive. Three, you gave all the things. Then you was like, I'm going to think. I mean, I guess I that, pro- that might get me further <laughs> in life, I guess, right? Yeah, you definitely. Because I do act on how I feel sometimes. Exactly. Women, I mean, human beings in general mm-hmm. tend to act on how they feel, um, w- mostly women. But if you tend to act on how you think and speak what you think, that's truly more th- truthful than what you feel because feelings are fleeting. What you're thinking is like you thought about it. So it's like, hmm, it's a little bit more solid, a little bit more real. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, uh, we got more balloons or everything was blown up? All right, god dang. Y'all got any? Yeah, yeah, we got some. They flew over here too. No, that's fine. We uh, Oh, I guess you have to give me the... Um, Wait, what'd you say? We skipped her. Because she has to tell me advice. Oh! Wait, you ain't even say nothing to her yet. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you did. did. You did. All right, you're right. What about you? So now you got to rate... Um, oh, the person she left. She you got to rate Kiki. Tell me what. So what do you think... I think it's her or Kiki. No, no. She, she already told her what she needs to improve on. Now you got to tell Kiki what she needs to improve on. Okay, my advice to Kiki... Yes. Yo, uh, Dan, camera. <laughs> Let's how behave yourself. If she come out, even you have certain way in you, mm-hmm. like you know, everybody have like do way of thing doing the things. Like you have your dirty way in you. You do something dirty in your house. When mm-hmm. you come out, try to cover that. Mm. Okay. Like dress more appropriate. Like if she, she said she out, talk about everything. Like if she come out, let her behave herself. Behave? Yes. Okay. That's good advice. That's solid and advice. Be respectful. That's solid advice. Yeah, I'm working on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's solid advice. And I'll break it down further to what she's saying. She's pretty much just saying, <laughs> how you is at home with your family and stuff, that's cool. You could be a certain way. Because, you, you know, your family tends to, this family, they're going to love you regardless. But when you leave the house... You need to go ahead and, you know, be a little bit more um, presenting, uh, presentable. What you got, Steve? Yeah, throw yes. it down. Oh, throw oh yeah, yeah. Down. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah. Go ahead, order it. Um, uh, We're we going to do the uh, 50. Oh, no, the 40. Let's do the 40. Uh, let's do 20 bone in, 20 boneless. Let's do uh, the bone in. Let's do um so mild. <laughs> It is actually no no a uh, bone in original hot <laughs> yeah and then boneless barbecue you and then uh, get fries with that and veggie sticks yeah I am a little aggressive nigga mm. chat my bad we nigga just one thing of fries is mad big yeah 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 and I am it. aggressive I feel like but I'm trying to I'm being more soft now like I've been like I'm only a year in but I do feel and, like oh, okay and this is what I wanted to say too ladies so the reason why the chat asked you those questions because y'all tend to and the reason why y'all some of y'all had a hard time giving advice and you know um to the other girls because normally when girls get together it's always about you prioritize feelings. So you go with, well, you're like kind of walking on thin ice. Like, let me not say this to this girl because I don't want to hurt her feelings. Like the question that we had in the beginning where you were like, well, got girls tend to not really tell girls the truth, even when they're doing things wrong, because we want to be uh, sympathetic. We want to, you know, um, be mindful of their feelings and stuff like that. The chat, men ask these questions because men operate differently. Like me, Steve, and Dan, when we're all hanging out, all we do the whole time when we're hanging out is like self-improvement. Like, nigga, get a new haircut. Nigga, go to the gym. Uh, Bro, do this. Bro, we need this done for the podcast. We need that done. Yo, you slacking on Eclipse and you, nah, nah, we need the artwork better. It's always consistently giving feedback constructive criticism men always naturally give constructive criticism but it seems that women don't like to give constructive criticism because you prioritize how that person feels we prioritize what is real so yeah that's why um 
Like, makes sense. Well, that's why the, I'm giving I you the why. I just personally don't know them too. If you ask me to give Kiki yeah. advice, I give her advice. She yeah, give and me even, advice. Yeah, even like, like on random, you know what I'm from. saying? Like, I know, like, even like on random men, like, say if I did a guys panel, all all random Comments guys that I don't know. Another guy looks is a little bit fruity. I'm not gonna lie. Well, yeah, yeah, especially that, if you don't know him, like, you just gonna comment on how it, that's kind of like. Well, well, when all men are to publicly, it is. But when yeah. all men are together, nah, really because awesome. men, we know, we always trying to help. Ladies, you good? Oh, she's still giving her advice. Okay, facts. I like that. No, you good. Um, men, we tend to know that, you know, things are competition. So let me get this out and then you could keep giving that advice. <laughs> she's still over here. <laughs> Mommy Africa giving Kiki advice. I like it. So, yeah, men, we just always tend to know like, yeah, life is a competition. And I'll say this. A man's value has to be earned. A woman, a women are normally born with their value. So since men tend to know that our value is earned, when we get around other men, we tend to just keep it real because we like, yo, you can improve on certain things and we know that this can help build his value. So, yeah. But anyways, um, y'all got any questions for these for this game? No Fugazi or Fugazi? Bro, yeah, chat. Uh, this is probably the last time I we do this. I asked a question to you that was a little crazy. Oh, what? You ask? I asked you, and I popped my balloon. Oh, all right. Well, you did ask a question. Who else got a question? Oh, the questions for each other, you're saying? Yeah, any I question. I thought you were talking about, like, just, do we have a question? No Fugazi or Fugazi. You don't got anything. Uh, all right, let me get to these super chats. Think, yeah, ladies. Think. I'll think. We got uh, Lord Diatron uh, sends in $2. Kiki, I was just teasing. Seek God and don't give up. Got it. Um... Altair Krieg sends him $5. Ladies, isn't the fact of looking for a provider just undercover gold digging because you want him to provide before you get married, correct? Hmm. It's good. It's good take. So, yeah, he's saying that isn't the, fa isn't the act of looking for a provider just an undercover gold digger because you want him... Uh, you want him to provide before you get married. I'll start. Yeah, go ahead. Um, honestly, maybe. Because me personally, like, the first thing I'm going to look for is, like, how we vibe. Like, all the other stuff is going to come after our connection and our vibe. Like, I'm not just going to go looking out. Like, honestly, like, if there's a guy who doesn't look good to me, doesn't vibe with my personality, but is a provider, I still wouldn't want him. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I still got to vibe with you first. Before anything, it comes down to vibes to me personally. Mm. But then if we're vibing and you don't have anything going for yourself, still can't be with you then. So it's really like that could be undercover gold digging in a way. If you're not looking at any other aspects, just the provider aspect could be gold digging possible. Yeah. And he's saying that even if you're looking at other aspects, the pro provisioning is a woman's baseline. Like if no, every not for me, you don't think so? No, but you did said that you had um, you would only you would only provide for a man. Yeah, this for is a max three months. Yeah, That's when we are already together married. So that's different. Yeah. So I'm saying that since provision, since you would leave a man after providing for because he can't provide for you for three months and you're providing for him for three months. But you would be like, ah, yeah, I freak this. I'm leaving this man. I'm saying that the woman's baseline is provision. No, I just said if, if we vibe and you don't have anything going for yourself, I will leave you too. I just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. It's not I'll, my baseline. It's not the first thing. By baseline, I'm saying that if all else fails, you you don't want that to fail. Like you could take a, like I'm saying that you would settle on looks, you would settle on height, maybe. You would even settle on, you would settle on everything but you providing for that man. I'm going to be really honest with you. If I'm not attracted to you, no. Well, of course, first you got to be attracted that's to him. That's what I'm saying. So that's the baseline for me. And attractiveness is not just how you look. Yeah, uh, I know. Attractiveness. Women are attracted to a multitude of things. Confidence, yeah. the way the guy can base himself. But that's, that's my baseline. So I'm just saying if someone's actual baseline is 
money or how you're going to provide, then it could be possible gold digging. Yeah. That's why some girls yeah, got see, sugar daddy. Like they're not I'll even... say it one more time another way. Oh because my it, God. Because it is your baseline. You want me to answer a certain way. It's not, no, it's though. not answer a certain way. I want you to actually understand it. So then you can. I understand, understand what you're saying, saying, but it's not me. It is every woman. It's because not. everyone, she's the only one that said that she didn't have a limit. So let's just, let's, but I do think that was cap too. I think that she does have a limit of providing for, I would think every woman does have a limit of providing for a man cap. until they leave that man. But a man doesn't have a, think about it. I don't have a limit. I can provide for a woman forever and she doesn't have to provide for me. So my, I, my baseline is not, I'm not looking for the woman to provide for uh for me so that's not in my baseline i'm saying that what's in your baseline is provisioning what's because you look what's... for like that's the main thing security no. providing is security security is not the main thing gg then not. if it's not the main thing then why would you leave the man in three months of of you providing for him so it because has it's to a be part of it but it's not the main thing i wouldn't even be with him if i didn't find him attractive or we didn't vibe so there wouldn't even be no caring about leaving in three months. Once we get past that first base, second base is now we're talking about that. Like, he still had the first base. That's why I was still with him. That's why I stayed three months to begin with. But you left him because he couldn't three provide. Months. But, yeah, that's... Let me say it another way. Listen, I can't blow my bankroll if you don't have nothing Forget going baseline. On. I don't think you're understanding the term. No, Let's just, just go with glue. You're just too, Let's like, go with glue. You're too... A woman's Fixated. glue is, a, is security. What makes her stick to the guy is security. Now, we know the man has to do other things, right? A man has to be that guy for because girls leave guys that got money, but they're like, you know, not funny. And they're like pedestalizing the woman. Oh, you know what? If y'all think I'm capping, pop your balloon. We think you capping. You've been capping. I'm going for looks first. I'm, I'm not even honest. popping it because you've already said that you're going to leave a man. Well, I know you'll go for looks. We're not talking about yes, that. But but like I have to be attracted Wait, to a what person. Was the, question the woman's this is crazy. Chat, pay attention I can't to the woman's you're not, mind. You're not understanding. I got you. I'll explain last time and then I'll just move on. So I'll break it down to you. Very simple. Prioritizations. You got certain things that you prioritize over other things, and I do believe you. Like you said, that looks is important. You like got you know other things that you know him being funny, him being charismatic. Right. Things are important to you, right? Right. Of you, right. what of what you prioritize. Right. I agree. All I'm saying that uh, money is the glue because the reason why it's the glue is because you would only last, you would only provide for a man for three months until you break up with him. It might be the glue, but I ain't buying that Elmer's bottle if All if right. there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Like that, you literally so, just said that's the second part. No, but it's 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 what sticks it. It's the baseline. So what yeah. the question he's asking, you right? Don't pour Alter it out Creed. The bottle, there's nothing to stick to. Yeah, it. Alter Creed. Now let's just wrap it into one. So Alter Creed is asking, oh ladies, God. isn't the act of looking for a provider just undercover, just an undercover gold digger? Meaning that at the end of the day. Women are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. Like some will say, oh, well, yeah, I want a guy with a whole lot of ambition. I want a guy that's assertive. I want a guy that's, you know, has something going on. For, I don't really care about the dollar amount, but I want him to have something going for his life. Well, that's undercover. She's trying to hide the shovel because if you peel the layer back, what's ambition? Well, you want him to be ambitious enough to in the future to provide for you. You want him to be assertive enough to provide for you. So at the end of the day, yeah, all women are gold diggers. Some is just better at hiding the shovel. That's what I would say. Anyways, moving right along. Uh, they didn't understand that. No, Good question, I was just though. Gonna see, well, my answer to that was going to be, call it what you want. Just have that money. You should provide everything. <laughs> Even you are like, digging beyond me, I don't care. Go. <laughs> Wait, what What you say? <laughs> I say, if you are providing everything to the house, I'm good. You good, yeah. Yes, because you, I talk, I say, I say anything, I don't say anything. You will say dig behind me. Ki so, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kiki. You was about to say something, right? No, I, to answer that question, I was gonna say, call it what you want. Just have that money, like. Yeah, I mean, and and I mean, and it's not and hey, it's not shaming a say. woman. Like gold digger huh? is a shaming term. <laughs> what? You know this, the man, even you put the man in glass, he will say go out and cheat. <laughs> What's your point? 
What's your point? Wait, say that again? <laughs> you see this water bottle? Listen, if that I think she's getting back onto the advice that you gave. I think you're going you're going back on the advice you gave. Listen, <laughs> like that's what she's going back well, on. Well, I'm gonna tell yeah, you I like this. Too. If I'm, I'm gonna get cheated on, I'm gonna get cheated on by a guy I'm actually attracted to than an ugly motherfucker. Okay. Straight like that. An ugly motherfucker still. So okay. I'd rather, now, I'd rather about, be now with here's somebody a question for you. In, into, what, like, now here's a question for you. Hell? You just said that, okay, if I'm gonna get cheated on, I'd rather get cheated on a guy that is attractive rather than an ugly yeah. guy. Now here's a question for you. That'd Would be, you rather what? get cheated on by the guy that's attractive or the guy like a, a very attractive or get cheated on a guy that was providing for you because he got a whole lot of money he's rich which one would you accept well, cheating different. from oh whoa. Mm -hmm. okay now give your answer yeah. which one would you get cheat <laughs> which one would you accept cheating on more i'm not staying nope. with either though i'm gonna tell okay, you okay. right now but give me the I'm answer not. who would you accept the cheating from the rich guy if or the I pretty boy to pick if i had to pick it would be the rich guy. God dang, Gigi, you just submitted that. No, it's you not. Now you get what I'm saying. No, it's not. Gold digger. That's what he's it's talking not, about. It's not, though. You... Listen, I'm going to tell you Yo, like this. Gigi. If I was a gold digger, I would be dating <laughs> one of some old ass men, some of them in my DMs right now. I would be dating. I don't. I can't I can't hide it on my face. I'm I, I not get into it, you. I'm Gigi. not into you. I'm just saying like, you just proved my point by saying that Those you would choose. Things. It isn't. Let's think about it critically. Oh, my God. You would choose to get cheated on. Everyone else understands you would choose to get cheated on by the rich guy rather than the very attractive guy. Mm -hmm. You were saying that, well, no. Uh, so money, the attractive guy's broke. Let me finish. What, if, was, he, what if he's rich, too? Let me finish. That wasn't the scenario, though. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You did uneval levels. So well, it's it has not to even be uneven. No, it's not an equal question. No, it's, it's a hypothetical looks, to test your logic. No, you're going with looks versus status. Yes, Which it's a hypothetical doing? to test your logic. No. The reason why I asked Ugly that... Ugly guy with no money or a rich guy with... No, Gigi, listen. No. The reason why we your asked the question was to test right. your logic to see, because you said that my baseline isn't providing. My baseline isn't security. I go for more looks and other things. And I said, well, wait, wait, wait. That's nonsense. That's not true. And I said, I tried to do a multitude of things, multitude of examples. I said, well, glue, uh, security, your base, uh, providing is security and that's your glue and then you still didn't uh concede to that then you just submitted that well if you had to choose between a rich guy cheating and a very attractive guy cheating you would accept the rich guy cheating over the very attractive guy that means that like uh altair creed said he said that women <laughs> if you're looking for a guy that's providing for you you're pretty much just a gold digger like at the end, of the day, it don't matter how you th say it. You can say, oh, you want a guy with ambition. Oh, you want a guy that's assertive. Oh, you want a guy that has a future. You want to have a, a guy that has something going for him. Yeah, all still go digger. Some is just better at hiding the shovel. That's the point. You get it? Your baseline is providing. That is it. Because if it's not, then you would have chose the pretty guy rather than the rich guy. God dang. Anyways, let's move right along. <laughs> All right. So we got uh, Ra Giza Era sends in $10. He says, hey, Cooley, love the pod. Um, Islam Hunter Faye. Uh, uh, I don't know what that's saying. Hunting Faye. He says, are those your real eyes? No. Okay. You got contacts? Yeah. Got it. Yo, she got contacts, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we got Queen Lala sends in five dollars. Ladies, do you think it's appropriate for a woman who is in a relationship to dress like Kiki right now? <laughs> Just curious. Keep it no fugazi. Let's start with oh you, Faye. Is it appropriate for a woman to dress like Kiki while yeah. in a relationship? While in a yeah, because uh, do you think it's appropriate for women to dress like Kiki? Yeah, because Kiki in a relationship. So you think that's appropriate or no? It all depends on what her man is okay with if you guys are both okay with you dressing like that then i don't see the problem i got it but what do you think is appropriate freak what she got going on <laughs> obviously her man is okay with this it is, a shirt, like, is he okay with it i don't know let's call that nigga <laughs> i mean he saw it when i left the house no nah, i'm playing <laughs> oh, okay all right he let you leave so he is okay with it but what do you think i don't think anything of it i really don't care see and here's go back to the first question in the chat How old remember to ask that uh, <laughs> it's queen. It's a girl that asked it. How old is she? I don't know. How old? Because I feel like I'm getting questioned by my grandma. 
Yeah, how am I supposed to know? I, I'm <laughs> yeah, not asking yeah. no questions. It's the chat. It's like I'm being consoled by my mother or my grandma. Like, I meant not consoled. Um. So look, now this goes back to the to the one of the first questions that the chat asked. Remember, the chat asked, Dane. I probably go to it. Um, oh, Dane, Dane, where is it? Hold up, let me see if I can find it. It's late. Uh, husband, being natural weed, monogamy. Nope, nope. Okay, the question was by Red Pill Goku. He says, why do y'all women defend other women even if it's clear they're wrong automatically? So look, and... So I'm wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. No. It's but she, that I'm wrong. But, but she gave an answer. I don't remember your answer. Actually, what was your answer? For what? To that question. Why do women tend to defend other women even when they're clearly wrong? Empathy. Empathy. So now my question is, um, the uh, the chat asked, is it appropriate for a woman like that to be dressed in public while she's in a relationship? You said, well, you know, I don't really care. So are you being empathetic to her or are you actually being real? No, I really don't care. I don't really think about what okay. anyone else is doing like that. <laughs> they do. Yo, the, yo, the chat, y'all wildin', bro. <laughs> yo, the chat. Yo, Dan, the chat is really psychoanalyzing everything in here today. I don't even have to ask any questions. They're doing it all for me. It's crazy. Um, They're good questions, though. Yeah, they are good questions. Go to go to you, I guess. Do you think what Kiki is wearing? That's your friend. Do you think it's I'm, appropriate? Well, yes. You know my answer, but I'm going to add to it. I'm going to say, listen, like, however a guy meets me with what I'm wearing is what I'm going to wear in a relationship. I'm not changing for anybody. If you meet me in a crop top, I'm going to wear a crop top. Mm. And you think you're going to be able to retain a man like that? Sure. That's why you want to date me, right? If you're dating me and you see me in a crop top, you like me how I was, and I'm still going to be the same person. That's if I that's if I start dating someone and they're like, oh, I don't like all your tattoos. What, you want me to go laser them off? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? I feel you. Like I feel what you're saying. No, yeah, I, I get like, your perspective. It's just a shirt. Like, come on. These people out here. But they'll love all the people. They'll heart all the booty cheeks they see on fucking Instagram. Like, all the fucking people. That this was, was from a girl. That's why I was Kiki. Talking. It wasn't same, from a man. Sa no, I'm saying same. She's probably like, and a that grandma girl's probably wearing a crop top right now. <laughs> no, nah, she's probably Literally. wearing a turtleneck. The way she's talking about me. <laughs> and for, Queen I'm Lala sorry. is a supporter. She, I know. I never seen her. And I don't I, know what she looked like, I, but she's cool a supporter. That she supports, but what is wrong with what I'm wearing? That I don't. I'm not showing a titty or an ass cheek or a coochie Literally. or Literally. a piece of coochie. I'm you just showing some extra. You see my stomach, chest, and arms. Hey, literally. What literally. is the problem? Arms and shoulders. Why is so that so inappropriate, guys? That should never bother nobody. I don't. All right. As long as you don't see my goods. Mm -hmm. my, I don't All have right. like what humongous tits. Hold up. Now let me go back to what yeah, you said, GG. Right. Oh. So um, you said that. Well, I'm not gonna change for any man. If a man meets me and I'm wearing a crop top. Yeah. Well, and if he. If I'm in a relationship with him, I'm going to continue to, uh, you know, wear a crop top. Yeah. Now, here's some advice. You can take it. You can not take it. But not going to take it. It tends to work. And you may actually understand it because okay. I see your perspective. And on one side of the genders, it is good how you're thinking. But normally men tend to think like that and operate that way. Let me explain to what I'm saying. Right. So when a man meets a woman. But you I you don't stop to ask me. Let oh, me, oh I'm gonna get to you. I know she yeah. wanna go. Keep keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. I got you. I got I'm you. Give Tiki the answer. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell you guys about something oh, that wow. is funny. Yo. I'm gonna tell y'all. Yo, she funny. Let me just finish this dialogue <laughs> that I'm having with her, and I'm gonna get right to you. <laughs> um. Anyways, Gigi. So, and it's not coming at what you said because I understand your mindset. But all I'm just saying that here's another perspective, right? So. When a man gets with a woman, when a man gets with a woman, in order for her, to, the reason why she had those butterflies is because he's that guy when he met her, right? And he was doing certain things when he met her. So if he continues to be the man that he was when he met her, he's going to, she's going to continue having those butterflies. So when a man gets with a woman, he shouldn't change, right? He shouldn't be changing up his behaviors if he's an adequate man. If he's inadequate, then he needs to become more adequate. But we're saying that if he's already that guy, he shouldn't change his behaviors. He should keep doing what he's doing to keep giving those women uh, uh, the butterflies in her stomach and making her feel the vibes, right? Because women, kind of, women are hypergamous. They want the best guy. So he has to keep showing that he's the best. Just like when he first met you, 
you. He's obviously presenting himself like he's better than all them other dudes, right? Got it. Now, when it comes to a woman, when she when she's attracting a guy, well, she should fully change up her behaviors and everything when she gets the guy. Because in order for the woman to retain that guy, man, a man looks for purity. So you can attract a guy by maybe posting some thir- not gender, not you. Generally speaking, a woman can attract a guy by posting thirst traps, by maybe even posting some booty pics, by maybe wearing a crop top, by wearing some tights and wearing some things that will be appealing to the man because we know that a man, he tends to fall in love with his eyes. Right. But in order to retain that man and lock him down and him get on one knee and propose to you or give you a serious commitment, like protecting and providing for you, it's. It's incumbent upon a woman to change her behavior and acquiesce her behaviors to that man. So if she was advertising herself, then you need to be advertising yourself less. If you are doing this, then you need to be doing that less because you really need to show that you are only for your man. You're not for everyone else. The thing is, women are attracted to guys that can get a whole lot of girls, period, because you're attracted is called something called pre-selection. For example, if a guy's in a club and he's at uh, the VIP section, a lot of girls is around him. He has a better opportunity bagging other chicks over the guy that's not in VIP, just in general admission. Because women see another guy like, oh, wow, women are attracted to status. You see that, well, other girls like him. Well, he must not be a weirdo. He must be cool and, you know, can can convey himself good around females so i'm attracted to him too but guys don't operate that way guys we don't care about like think about it if a chick is in a club with a whole lot of dudes we think ho ew she for the streets if a guy is in a club surrounded by a whole lot of girls you think he's that g he's that guy that's just what you think because you're attracted to status generally speaking women are that's how it operates the more girls are around a man the more girls is going to come for another example why you think that when guys get into a relationship more girls tend to be attracted to that guy for some reason maybe you wasn't attracted to him then but now you see that he's with a girl you like brian is kind of cute oh, i see why she likes him i i get it all oh, right God. like that's how it is so brian. i'm saying that when a woman gets with a man it's a coming upon her to acquiesce her be acquiesce her behaviors and change for the man stop doing what you was doing to attract them because you were advertising yourself to attract them when you got them you need to get yourself off the market and less is more that's all i'm saying but anyways you wanted to say some question for you so the question at the chat said uh do you think it's appropriate for a woman who is in a relationship to dress like kiki right now no <laughs> Like my house. Damn, put it over here. (laughs) You're showing her. She's showing her arms and her shoulders. Like BFing for real. Okay, explain it. Explain it. See. Oh, talking to Mike. Talking to Mike. Are you trying to talk to Mike? Talking to Mike. Look here. Look here. What am I seeing? I'm not wearing nothing. (laughs) What? (laughs) You say you are in a relationship, right? Yeah. So what are you looking for outside then? I'm not looking for a dance. It's a cute top. Like, I, I just threw a shirt on and went, went on a podcast. Like, Fair enough. I didn't really think much of it. <laughs> <All right. So, laughs> okay, well, also, I we're a, a little bit younger, you so it might be this different, too. Like, I got out the shower, and I'm like, damn, what am I going to throw on? Mm, it's just a podcast. She, she, They're not really going to see me. Chat, chat, real quick. No, I'm not good friend. Yo, I'm a so bad see, friend. Yes, see, How am I a bad friend? See you. How you dress? See Gigi. Then you come here with I'm Gigi. Gigi. Hey, okay, you come here with your friend. You're supposed to tell her, say, Gigi, no. What's, what's wrong go? with it? No. You, that's your opinion. It might be different. No, it's not, Gigi, you feel me? No. Nah, like, you like her, right? the hell? I like this. I like this. This is good. Okay, so this let's is go. Good. So what, what chat, length, this is good. Let me ask you a question. Let, what what <laughs> length do you require for shorts? Let's talk about it. Oh, if it's a hot, this, sunny day, what hey, what length you, shorts you do you require? I'm just it. curious. Nobody is talking to her right now. You see everybody putting... Well, you brought me yeah, into it, didn't you? Kiki you brought me into it. So let's talk about it. You brought me into it. But I didn't even do nothing. Hold one mic at a time, ladies, because the audience can hear. Go ahead. Go ahead, and then I'll let y'all go. Before you come out, look at yourself. That if I do that. Tell you, you what have the to tell hell? You. I do that all the time. I look and in the I mirror. also wear tops like that 
all, all the time. time. But why you don't wear it today to come here? Because you know, it's you... a little chilly outside. Oh, Gigi, don't that's do that. Why, yeah. That's, that's, that's why I got my jacket like, for. What are you talking about? Okay, if it's so... hot outside, I'm gonna wear shorts, crop top. Like we wanna ball. Ooh, like that's if you wanna dress here, like that every day, that's you. Like, you that's you. you. Well, Mike, got a time. I'll let you go, Gigi. People will not respect you. I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple people talking, but like you don't know her, and she don't she don't know you to see how she's sending messages to you. She's insulting you. You have to respect yourself first. Um, Yo, Mother Africa giving game. Okay, right? so, Gigi, what you got? Go ahead, Gigi. First off, you talking about people sending in chats. People in the chat said you look like a witch. That's not respectful. Yes, I'm witch because the way. No, I, like I that's wrong. Don't like listen witch. to them people. Yes. No. Yes. So I you identify as that? And I love the way I dress. Okay, and she loves the way she dresses. No, Guess I what, it. sweetheart? No. Everybody's got their own style, yeah, and that's that. No, damn, not everybody's you. No. Not everybody's you. No. That's it. Straight like that. I so Not everybody's natural. you. And Every, I love myself, I and I'm sure Kiki loves herself, stuff, too. I love my natural. Okay, awesome. What the also, do? Honestly, this congratulations. Do you want cake? Do you want a cookie? So do we. Like... What you want okay, me to do okay. here? Like, okay, so you're trying to say I'm not it's natural? Okay. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. I'm not natural. Okay, keep going. Uh, chat, I'm going to let this, this go for a little bit. This Another. is good to observe. Go ahead. Keep going. It's okay. Um, so now that I can talk to myself, all right, this is what happened. I definitely looked in the mirror before I left. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just throwing a little shirt, little little pants. And I left the house. That's, I didn't think much into like, oh my God, are they going to think that this shirt is too small? No, I didn't think that because do I care? Not really. Um, so, you know, and I think maybe because I'm younger, you know, not saying anything about anybody that's older. Well, I am actually saying something about, you know, y'all a little old. So it's like, I understand like to y'all, it's like, oh my God, to me, I don't. Yeah, we like get, it's not like I don't really care that much. So we get it's like, that. Well, let me, as let me you get, can see, that's like, why I your wore boyfriend's it. still with you. I get the Did perspective. Faye, no? what you got? You got anything you want to put into the convo? No. Faye over here chilling like, uh, leave me out of it. It's about to be a cat fight. Yeah. Nah, this is good. No, I don't. I'm not. I respect like you. know what I'm saying because honestly, my no, aunt, my aunt, my aunt, aunt always tells me. Advice. My aunt you know, always tells me. Listen, though, I have. Okay, let me bring it in. Let me bring it in for the chat because we've been bantering a little bit for a while. Chat. This was good to observe. Um, the good banter back and forth with the ladies and the conversation. You got Mommy Africa over here. She giving Kiki advice. You got Gigi over here. She's sticking up for a friend. Um, and you got two perspectives. And chat. Y'all smart. I see what y'all doing. And I see what y'all did. <laughs> what y'all doing and what y'all did was good. It's funny. How, they are y'all together in a chat or something? I'll tell you what they did. Let me explain to you what just happened and what transpired on the podcast. So in the beginning of the podcast, the one of the first questions oh, yeah, was, okay. remember, women tend to, why do women defend other women even when they know they are clearly wrong, right? Then things transpired in other members in the chat send in super chats and ask questions well you know would you do this and would you do that now they're talking about kiki well uh you know kiki why uh they asked the question well would you want a woman to be dressed is it do you think it's appropriate for a woman that's in a relationship to be dressed like kiki we went around the panel um faye really didn't give an answer uh gg defended her friend and said for sure i think even if she wasn't your friend you probably still would have the same yeah, answer i was in relationships where crop tops all the time yeah got you doesn't matter mommy afro core over here uh she 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 thinking how i'm thinking like ah yeah i feel what you're saying but i would say this at the end of the day a woman is a mere reflection of her man's masculinity so the fact that your man you know allowed you dress i'm just saying this not not talking about you Generally speaking, the fact that any man will allow their woman to dress provocative or in any way where someone would send in money to say it's not appropriate to be dressed like that, that reflects his masculinity. Just Can I say something, and, though? Sure, go ahead. I was going to get on that. Um, my, actually, my uh, boyfriend is not a fan of how I dress. Um, like, we had a little... God dang. Yeah, Kiki. I know. But we had a little talk about it. And okay, we did. So what? What that? This he is doesn't. That, he's not a fan of the crop top. I get it, and that, he's not. That proves my point because yeah. if he was a masculine man, he would be secure enough to say, "Hey, 
You he dress. Well, let me finish. He would be secure enough in his own masculinity to say, hey, I don't like the way you're dressing. I'm done with you. But he did the opposite. He said, I don't like the way you're dressing. And you continue to dress the way you dress. And he he dealt with it. He said, well, I'll just settle and, and let you do what you want. Well, that shows masculinity don't bend and fold for people. That's why I do the podcast for a multitude of reasons. I mean, I mean, I don't bend and fold for anyone. Um, but at the end of the day, and it's okay. He's probably a young guy, right? No. He older? Yeah. How old is he? 29. God dang. Uh, any, nigga, if you watching this. Um, he click, said something to click me. Click the third he's link. Probably in, gonna, he's probably going to watch this link and in my be bio like, and um, sign up for our one-on-one coaching. I got you, brother. He's I got you, He's probably going to watch this and be like, and that's why I told you I don't like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So hey, it's like, uh, I would say this was a good. I, I didn't have to put in too much because Mommy Africa was kind of doing my job for me. No, don't, <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I was about to say that that my aunt always tells me like, "I love you. You're beautiful, but put some fucking clothes on." I hate clothes. I'm working on it. Oh, I'm gonna work on it because I'm not working on it for real. I'm not, no, I'm not working on. It. But I'll yeah. work on it. You know. I gotta expand my. Fair enough. We ain't gonna beat it up too much. I think. Um. I think you get it. I think. Uh. I think. I think you and her were speaking and having a dialogue even when yeah, I was no, speaking yeah. to her. It's so, I mean, it is it's what it is. Cool, At the end, right? you could, you know, uh, we ain't here to really change your perspective. We here to just give a give a perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, if it happens to change, kudos. If it doesn't, then, I mean. All right, next really time, I'm going to come I'm gonna come with a turtleneck, <laughs> long pants, long socks. <laughs> I'm not fucking around next time. She <laughs> said turtleneck. I feel you. I Let's move it on. I we will. have uh, um, Altair. Uh, actually, before I move it on. Ladies, do y'all want to close out this topic? Anybody have anything they want to say before we move on? Uh, Mommy Africa, I hear you talking. You got anything? Does anyone have anything they want to say before we move on? I'm good. Okay, good. Let's move on. All right. We got uh, Alter Creek since in $10. He says, ladies, what's the minimum amount of money a man has to make to be considered a provider to you? We just answered Um, that earlier. Next question. Next. (laughs) Yeah, they Definitely did. Reminder, did. 17% of men. Okay, it says, reminder, 17% of men in the U.S. make um, over 100 k Do you think you will find? Yeah, we, we answered Answer. that. Um, and the, I seen you came in a little late, bro. We probably got to that question in like the first half an hour of the podcast. Um, we got uh, D. Luckett sends him $5. Are you ladies okay with being the person you are right now no. for the rest of your life? We could just give a yes or no. Are you okay with being a person you are right now for the rest of your life? Yes or no? Mm, sure. What about you? For sure. What about you? Yes. What about you? No. No. Okay. Well, oh, fair enough. She being no fugazi. Um, we got red pill overdose since in five dollars. A loyal man making fifty k a, a loyal man making fifty k or a man making five hundred k a year cheating, but you are the wife. All right, um, starting with Kiki. Would you take a loyal man? He's making 50K. Um, or a man that makes 500K, but he's cheating. I'm not going to lie. I'll cry with some expensive wine. I'll be all right. <laughs> You'll be all right. Yeah. Got it. What about you? Loyal man. Loyal man, 50K. Okay, you're going to want the loyalty. Got it. But what if? But what if he... Okay, because it is cheating. It isn't. I get it. I get what you're saying. 50K. 50K. What about you? 50K isn't enough to take one person. Like, it's not even enough to take care of one person. So you're going to take the 500K cheater? Yeah. yeah okay. Like, I'll cry and be rich. I'll yeah. be all right. Okay. All kids. right. I'm going right. to cry and be like, can you do my hair? So we got some different opinions on that <laughs> one. Cry on an island. Like. Good, good. <sighs> we got Holiday Tone sends in $5. My man's is back. You ain't go nowhere. Uh, yo, did you make a Holiday Tone a mod? Oh, Dan, let me mod tone real quick. Uh, add as moderator, standard moderation, managing. Uh, I'll do standard. All right, Holiday Tone, you are now a mod. Let's do, who else is in here? I don't think Phil's in there. I didn't see Phil. Altair Krieg, you've been supporting, bro. You keep up the support, bro. We make you a mod. Um, we got Red Pill Goku. Let's let's mod Goku. You want to mod Goku? What's up, dude? Goku been in here supporting. We get my Goku, that nigga funny. Um, add as mod. We gonna do standard. Uh, Steve, did you put anything in the chat? Let me make you. Let me up upgrade your uh mon- your moderation. Hold up. What'd you say? All right, I got it right here. 
No, uh, add his mod. Okay, managing mod. Okay, all right. I upgraded you. What'd you say? Yeah, you should be able to make every anybody mods now. All right. Um, let's get to the rest of the super chats and then, ladies, we're gonna wrap up and, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. We got. Dang, where we at? Okay, we don't got a lot more. We got um. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We got uh. Wait, did we get to the rest of the question with the five hundred k? Yeah, we finished yeah. that one. We got holiday tones since in five dollars. He says, "Cooley, <laughs> Cooley, don't cheat. He just buys five guys." Sorry, King. Lol. I'm dead. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, that's funny, bro. That's funny. That's a good one. Ladies, I promise none of the... I told you they come at me. Uh, ladies, I promise none of this comes from hate. I want to see you guys do well. Stop fighting men. That's what Holiday Tone said. He promises nothing comes from hate. He want to see you do good. Got it. Um, Ninja Smokehouse sends him $5. What are these names? <laughs> Ninja Smokehouse. Talking to you. Crazy. GG. Yeah. Very attractive bum or basic baller. You have to pick one. A very attractive bum or a basic baller. When you say basic, like uh, like 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 he, he just a he just a like he's regular not, I'm guy. Be so real with you. Like he, so he he's like he's so very attractive guy. Let's say he's an eight in attractiveness. No, he's a nine in attractiveness, but he's a bum or. A basic guy, he's a five, but he got millions. Well, the most attractive guy to me is medium ugly. I don't like him too pretty. So, so who you who you picking? I'm going with the basic. I don't like him too got pretty. <laughs> and, and and again, Gigi, you prove my point that your baseline is provisioning. Come well, on. How? You just uh, never mind. When you watch it back, you'll see. Uh we got holiday tone season five dollars. Shorty got more glue in her hair. Oh, uh, Shorty got more glue in her lips than her relationships. Uh, care right. more about right. what men want. It leads to better results. No bums. Date with purpose. Glue? I don't get it. Uh, he's saying that you got your lips done. And he said that, um, you know, date with a purpose. Date with a purpose? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, we got Ninja. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And ladies, when I read the chats, y'all could... I'll leave room for y'all to comment back if you don't want to comment back you don't have to we got ninja smokehouse uh sends in and as you see ladies keep it real because i've been here from the beginning remember when we first did and we always here last year in july chat was trash right super actually trash. i don't even think we was live we were never live yeah we weren't no. even live yeah. but then even when i came here the last time we were live and um the chat wasn't as popping as it is now right no it's super popping right yeah now. super yeah super popping chat my chat niggas in here. Uh, we got uh, Ninja Smokehouse sends him five dollars. Um, do you want to be a mom? What matters more, being modest or selfish? Your clothes, attitude, and morals express these things to men. Good question. It's a statement. Yeah, that was. Was that even a question? This part was a question. I'll ask yeah. it to you, and we'll go around. Faye. So, what matters more? Um, being modest or selfish? Mm. Selfish meaning that you don't really give a freak what anyone, you you know, thinks you're going to do what you want to do. Or being modest is less is more. But go back to the first part of his uh, super chat. Oh, do you want to be a mom? Yeah, in regards to being a mom... Moms aren't selfish. They just can't be selfish because they're taking care of other people. Mm -hmm. So I'd say modest. What about you, Gigi? I don't think it's selfish to live your life how you want to live it. You only get one. Do you want to be a mom? Yeah. But that's a different part of my life. I'm in my early 20s right now. You have to understand, I'm 22 years old. Yeah. Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you? were you the same person when you were 22? Nah, when I was 22, I was wowing. But I'm saying. Like, I'm just trying to enjoy myself before my back, I can't bend over. Yeah. And when I say bend over, like, pick something up. No, I'm talking <laughs> about, like, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying you to enjoy to my up, life. I you. Like, I feel you. And I'm. Um, so and, as of right now, sure, selfish. But when I get up there, like, 
around 30s, I'm going to be a different person. Got so it. I'm going to move differently. Question for you. Um, do you think uh, Do you think you would be more valuable in a man's eyes at 22 oh, no, yeah, or at 32? Yeah, for sure at a younger age. 22. So um, wouldn't it behoove you to... But I'm, but I'm not ready to settle right now. I got you. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Like, I don't want kids right now. I don't want to get married right now. I got you. I I'm know. enjoying myself. Like, I got you. Yeah. Now, I got another question for you. What? Um, you just said that you would want, you know that you are at your peak value now as far as being attractive to a man. So you would have a I higher got time. I got a little time. Oh, yeah. Well, well, the more yeah, the more things that a woman experience and the more she's molded by her ex guy and that guy in the world, that's more things that a man has to unmold her from. And a man, we prioritize more of an inexperienced woman. So yeah, like you, well, the fact is that you already, you know, you know that you're more attractive now than that you're 32. Yeah, I'm sure you got a few years to, you know, get yeah. things in order and stuff like that. I feel what you're saying. But my question is like, you are born with your value and you're very valuable now and in a man's eyes because you're 22 and you currently right now, you at 22 and you compared to 32, you right now have less experience than your 32 year old self. Yeah. You right now have less dicks than your 32 year old self. Yeah. You right now have uh, less trauma than your 32 year old self. So currently right now, you would be more attractive to more men. So wouldn't it behoove you to find a guy to lock down when your value is at its peak? Wouldn't you want to, like, if you go to a Not casino, yet. wouldn't you want to cash out in a casino when you're up? I always go to the casino. But do you ever cash out when you're yeah. up? So yeah, but I'm this not, is like that question. It's not yet. Like, I, yeah. I got a relationship last year in July. Like, I'm not, oh, yeah. I don't want kids right now and I don't want to get married right now. Like, not right now. I'm just being honest. Like, Fair enough, Chad. She like, yeah, freaking out. Uh, I, I would say this. And, and not... And me saying that does not mean I'm going to go out and do this and that there. I just said I like jumping out of planes and shit. Yeah, like, I know. You've you um, literally you know. got bought a camera to start doing yes, um, like I'm videos. To, so you're creative. Yeah, I get what like, you're saying. You want to live your life. You exactly. don't, don't want to be tied down to a guy having to tell you what to do. Right. Not Fair yet. enough. Not yet. All I'm saying is um, it's just going to be just know the reality that it will be a little harder for you to lock down a top tier guy like a guy that that you would. You know, a guy that you want to submit to, a guy that would truly make you always feel the butterflies, a guy that would truly protect and provide for you. The older you get, the uh, the chances of you locking down that guy goes down. Right. Like you could, you could truly, if you wanted to, you could lock down him now, and you could still, you know, you Jump could probably planes and nah. Shit. He'll be like, yo, I mean, you want to keep tatting and drawing and doing junk? I mean, it ain't like what you're doing is on a stripper pole. He'll probably still allow you to yeah. do that too. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, we got, um, let's see here. Uh, God dang, bro. Y'all sending in. After this, uh, I'm not reading anything under $5 because there's too many Super Chats. So uh, all Super Chats have to be 10 or above. So if you send in $5 Super Chats or $3, $2 Super Chats, not being read. Everything has to be 10 and above because we got too many you Super Chats. ask them the same question. What question? Didn't you ask them the question that you asked us? Oh yeah, modest. You said selfish right now. Good question. Yeah. So, uh, what would what what do you think matters um, more, being modest or selfish? Modest. What about you? Modest. God dang, keep no I'm playing. Cool. What? Good answer. Nah, nah. <laughs> that was a good answer. You I said mean, I, that's what I believe. I guess that's what you believe. But cool. Do I care right now? No. Yeah, I feel you. You like Kiki? You like ah, freak it. Um, we got Cabrina. Oh, sends in five dollars. Girl in the bra, you can dress how you want, but it's not um it's not pleasing or fashionable. Pops uh Pops told me leave some things to the imagination. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um Pops told me leave some things to imagination. Make sense? Anyways, I think Kiki I mean, M Mommy Africa un unleashed the, uh, the thing. What's in Africa? I was going to say the Kraken, so but that's annoying. that's Greek or whatever. I what's in, like in the, the African gods? Um, 
Let me figure it out. Like, Comet. What was one of the guys in Comet? Uh, and what? One of them. All right, anyways. A horse. A horse. Okay. Mommy Africa at least a horse on you. Um, we got Holiday Tones is in five dollars. Would you let your seventeen year old daughter wear what Kiki's wearing on TV? Uh, Lala is a bad. Lala is a bad. I can see her pick. Lala is bad. I can see her pick in a chat. Y'all sit down before coming for chat. Oh, so um, Holiday I'm Tone sticking up for Lala saying that she bad. But here's the question. Good for her. I'm sitting already, though. <laughs> Thought you ate. <laughs> it, anyway. Fair enough. Uh, let's start. Yeah, let's start with you, Faye. Um, would you allow your daughter to wear what Kiki wearing right now on national television? No. No. What about you? How old is she? 17. She's 17 year old daughter. Probably not. What about you? Okay. What if she's 21? If she's 21, she's an adult. Like, But what would you advise her? Okay. You still want to give your 20. You will always want to give your daughter advice, right? You no, know, just be respectful. So the- you would still advise her not to? Yeah. Okay, what about you? Sure. You advise her not to? No. She can wear it. Oh, okay. What about you? No, still no. Kiki, if you had a 17-year-old daughter, <laughs> would you advise your 17-year-old daughter to wear what you're wearing? You want my honest answer? Yeah. No? Okay, fair enough. All right, all right. So, look, you know what you're wearing is shameful. That's That makes sense. That makes sense. But, like, the thing is... It's fine. I don't care enough to... Like, you don't care enough? Yeah, I don't I mean, care enough to argue. No, no, that's not... What I, was about to say. I don't even care enough to argue back, like... Who gives a fuck? Yeah, Kiki a good sport. She been on here mad times. You taking the chat heat like, good. Who cares? You taking mommy Africa fire. <laughs> Wait, like, yo, I what's get it. what's the woman in um Let me look. Um in uh, Black Panther. The uh it was King T'Challa, the woman's name. What kind? She was unleashing that that woman on her. What's but the one that was stronger than his, his girlfriend. The sister? the sister was nice, bro. That's what I'm talking Shuri. Shuri. Oh yeah, he at least no, 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 not freak the sister. We need the strong, that strong African that had the, the uh big old dagger thing, oh, uh, the spear. Honestly, Okioi. Can I say something though? She at least Okioi on you. What? Can I say something? Is I don't. It's not. I don't. I don't not taking y'all feedback. It's not that I don't take it in, but like. I take it in, but how many times are you gonna repeat what the fucking person just said already? Yeah, I know. That's I'm just, number one. I'm and number just two, the chat. No, 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 not you. But I'm saying them. Like how many? All right, like okay, we're just gonna yeah. talk about Kiki's outfit. But no, I do take feedback and I do take constructive criticism. I do, but um, and I, they trying to argue with me like I ever said I was never going to change it. Like I didn't even. I just, Kiki was susceptible, and she said that I'm open to change. I think I got things to work on. So okay, you know, yeah, fair like enough. They acting like I'm on here, just acting like I'm just. I admit to my flaws, like, for real. So, like... Fair enough, fair enough. Y'all need to take a seat before y'all try to come for me. Because y'all probably standing, waiting for me to respond right now, pacing back and forth. <laughs> like They did say Lala a baddie, though. Um, all right, so we got Ninja I Smokehouse. Was, I didn't say she was ugly. I said she's probably old, though. I don't, I don't know. Um, hey, Lala, uh, you know, if you want, you can send your Instagram and we can bring it up so the whole chat can see you, <laughs> give you some clout. I got you. Um, so you got to send us something over $10, though, because we ain't read nothing that's under 10 uh, We too lit right now. We got Ninja Smokehouse in $5. Pretending to be a streetwalker from 18 to 25 uh, and saying she'll be a good mom one day, use, be, uh, use being young as an excuse to be... Uh, use, using to using your age as an excuse to dress slutty, like is respectful. Okay. Uh, anything to say about that? You're pretty much talking about you again. Oh, my God. 
Um, Cheeky, like, God dang, I ain't signed. Cooley, why you ain't tell me your chat was this lit? I would have. <laughs> no, it's, I don't even mind it, but it's like, wait, what was the question again? It wasn't even a question. It was a statement. You want to shot? You want to shoot a fire back? You want to shoot? What they say about they just was saying, excuse? yeah, you using the excuse to dress slutty. Um, no, my that my age wasn't an excuse. Me not giving a fuck was an excuse though. Got it. All right, we got uh, cheese OVBs sends some five dollars. Hey, the chick in the pink pants. Oh, uh, is not a good friend and and front and don't care about her relationship and neither does she. Hmm? Anything neither to say about who? that, Gigi? I'm a good ass friend. Okay, I don't care. Fair enough. Uh, Darius Campbell sends in two dollars. Man, that's a black Jason. <laughs> what? A what? <laughs> a, a what? black Jason Kel? What Kelsey? A black. Oh, oh, okay. Who who you talking about, Kiki? <laughs> what? I'm a football. I don't know who you talking about, <laughs> bro. How you just gonna assume it's me though? Because he said that I don't know what. I guess he's one. I guess he meant to say Kiki. Um. I don't know. But anyways, we got Ninja House, Ninja Smokehouse, sends in five dollars. If your man sleeps around when you meet, does he need to stop? <laughs> oh, this one. For <laughs> this one for you for me yeah what is it uh so, okay so if your man sleeps around uh when you meet him um does he need to stop question so if you don't have to change to be in a relationship why does a man y'all selfish and young that's what he said so ninja smokehouse so remember you said that you not no, changing I for get a man. it. Yeah. i get it but it's like correlation <clears throat> caring capacity like how yeah. does that correlate? You're in a relationship. You're expected to be loyal. That has nothing to do with. It wasn't extreme, but it was just an example. Yeah. I get what he was saying. Don't really. Okay. Congrats. Spoke I think about. she got the point when we already spoke about it, but thanks for the super chat, bro. Or maybe she didn't get the point. Gigi. Yeah, Gigi probably didn't. Gigi, you probably like, Cooley, shut up. <laughs> um, We got Julian Calendar sends in $5. Sending in support for the mother queen. She's gives good advice and isn't out here advertising her sexuality talking about you shout out um cabrina O sends him five dollars uh for her to say for her to just say my man doesn't like the way i dress but you do it anyway you're <laughs> you're blatantly disrespecting your relationship and your man wow yeah, we talked about that. I said, yeah, the fact that, you know, oh she's doing God. it anyway just shows that he's not that masculine. Oh, but, my yeah. God. Like, we got Ninja Smokehouse in $2. Gigi wants to be God. selfish and single past her prime years. That was just a comment. Any pushback on that? No, just think yeah. what you want. So I don't like, care. Oh All right. We got uh, Foxy care. Gamer 187 sends in oh, $10. Brother. Okay, this is a new supporter. I don't think I've seen your support come in. Thank you. We have, yo, I'm new to the content and I love the way you deliver the knowledge to these women. Hopefully they can humble themselves enough to receive the message. Appreciate the support, man. Um, Darius Campbell sends in $10. Cooley, is that an avatar in the gray? <laughs> and big back in the bra? need to move into a gym and live there with a salad shop next door suck my dick with your mother's lips bitch or nigga whoever said it dang ruthless okay ladies um that was the ends of the chats so uh dang we've been rocking for a minute let's do last thoughts on the podcast and if you have any questions so here's a part of the podcast if you have any questions you can ask questions if you don't have questions we can wrap it up and end it and you can give your last thoughts let's start with Kiki. I didn't even hear what you said because I was just thinking about how that person just pissed me off. <laughs> like, word, like, yo, chat, y'all got Kiki triggered in here, yo. No more violence. <laughs> like, I mean, y'all could keep on sending violence, like, but you're talking about big bag. Like, fuck your mom, bitch. <laughs> fuck your mom. <laughs> Any questions? I acknowledge Kiki? that I need to go to the gym. So you thought you ate that up and you didn't like suck my father's dick. How about that? Okay, but, she, um, she's oh, swinging. But this was a good. No, no, wait. Let me. Okay, so this was a good chat. Okay. Yeah. But for all you people that like suck my dick, suck my dick, and all the people that are genuinely just trying to give me advice, 
even though I might not seem accepting to it, I will think about it like later. You know what I'm saying? Like I might not be because y'all all just saying the same thing. Like oh my god! Like I feel like this podcast. When girls tend to say "suck my dick," that's like so masculine. Like what right, if a man right, said like "lick my booty hole"? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I like, meant lick to. My buns. I didn't mean that. Just... I didn't mean suck my dick. I meant suck my father's dick. But like you know, it's just like you know, like you guys. Like <laughs> I just want you guys to know that if you want the people that were genuinely trying to offer me advice. I'm growing and I'm learning every freaking day. So I do take your advice. And um, just because I might not seem accepting to it right now doesn't mean I'm not accepting to it. But, like, for the people that are just trying to come for me, like, call me Big Mac and all that shit, like, yeah, it's like my father's dick. And, y'all, I bet y'all, like, what? Get whoever y'all want. I don't care. I said what I said. But this this is why I'm trying to change. It's just be people like that. Just that It's just so easier to just. So, Kiki, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Will you come back on a podcast again? Yes. The next time you come on a podcast again, will you still dress? No, I'm gonna wear in a, a way where the check where the chat would you know come at you. <laughs> I don't know. Depending on how I'm feeling that day, I might just no. I'm just playing. No, I'm not. You gonna change your behavior? I'm gonna change my like. You know what I'm saying? So chat. Guess what? Shaming does work. Shaming, you it know. D- no, disrespecting me doesn't work. Though. Well. But hear me out real quick. Giving real quick. me constructive criticism. Constructive criticism, and works. it can also be viewed as shaming, right? Like you got to think about it. Human beings, influence creates thinking. Thinking creates, you know, behavior. That's what I always say on a podcast, right? So if you're not influenced to change your thinking, and then also will change your behavior, um, if everyone is, you know, telling you, "Well, yeah, girl, you're fine. Yeah, girl, you're great. Yeah, girl, this and this." then you're never going to be influenced to think differently and then to make change. No, I agree. So shaming, what happens is when someone shames you, right? And if it's, if it's a, if it's a worthy shame, like you know, good and well, you wouldn't let, let your daughter dress like that. So it's a worthy shame. So mm-hmm. that means that they're shaming you in the chat, which is then making you think differently. And then I asked you a question, would you dress differently? And you said, yeah, the next podcast. So that means that your behavior will change. So we do know this is, this podcast is good. Scientists should study this podcast right, on human behavior because it actually tends to align with what I always preach. Shaming sometimes is a good thing to change a person's behavior when it's degenerate, bad for them or bad for other people or on a bigger scale, bad for society. I grew up in it like my brothers used to make fun of me a whole lot. You know what I mean? I used to make fun of other people and I seen, you know, people change and men. We different, though. We tend to, you know, can take things on a shoulder and really recognize like, okay, yeah, I can improve on this. The reason why is because. When a man is inadequate or he lacks on certain things, the world lets him feel it, meaning that he doesn't get any girls. He don't have any access to vagina. He can't get a job. No one's really laughing at his jokes like, nigga, you corny. You need to change. You need to get in the gym, work out, uh, you know, do better and court more girls so you could, you know, build up your charisma and be more attractive. Let me finish real quick. So men tend to live in that reality, (laughs) that meaning that we have to earn value. Women have the privilege of just being how they are because somewhere, some way you'll find a sucker to it to accept you how you are. Which sucks because there's a lot of suckers and simps out here that's just accepting a chick the way they are. No, you don't accept the girl the way they are. You, they got to change for you. Um, but anyways, let me let me uh, let me move right along so we could get through some things. And chat, y'all still coming in here crazy going in. Um, any questions? No. How'd you like the podcast? And would you come back? Yes. Good show. So good. I hope I tell my sister next time before you come try to change. Hey, hey, she, she, yo, mommy Africa keep it real, bro. Mommy Africa don't keep, yo, listen, man, uh, we may have to make you a regular on here because you be making my job a little easier for me. Um, We got, okay, you freak the chats. Gigi, uh, any questions or last thoughts? No. How you like it? Would you come back? Yeah. Okay, bet. Um. Faye, your first time here. She probably like, Dane, I didn't know I was going to walk into a, a, a WWE wrestling match. What's going on here? But um, any questions? No questions? How'd you like the podcast and would you come back? Um, it was okay. I'll come back if I feel like it. You come back if you feel like it. Fair enough. You know, you're not too far. You're right in Bethlehem. We over here. So, um, yeah, let me know. If you want to come back, we'll definitely have you on. Um, let me know if you feel like coming back on. 
uh okay we got the last few super chats and then we're gonna wrap up and since it's the last ones i'll just read uh since it's holiday tone and i'll just read the last ones that came in for five dollars we got holiday tone since five dollars uh, he says, uh, Miss Haram on the couch, you are the most dangerous one in the studio. Men should stay far away, far, far away. Miss Lips, please um, reevaluate uh, <laughs> your values. Reevaluate your values. We have Ninja Smokehouse and ten dollars. Last chat for Mother Africa. Thank you for sharing. Being a good friend to someone you don't know. Yeah, not showing your girls how to be ladies my kids will have a hard time finding a woman like their mom yo okay um respect respect yeah mommy africa was really being a solid friend Thank you. i truly believe because that's how men Thank tend to you. look at it too like if i'm got my guy friends around and he's and i'm slacking off and he's not telling me i'm gonna look at that nigga different he's already looking at me different it's gonna be the chemistry ain't really ain't gonna be there because we know that I'm not being real, he's not being real. But girls just tend to go off for of feelings like you know they said, which is is understandable. Um uh we got Edward. Okay, we got Edwardson's in one dollar, then we got Edwardson's in five dollars. He says, Define submissiveness and do you agree? My wife thinks it's controlling to say it, but she does everything that uh submissive stands for. Um, define submissiveness. I mean, you just define it yourself, bro. She do everything that you say, then my nigga, she's submissive. At the end of the day, um, a woman, as far as her being submissive and far as a man uh, getting the submissive nature out of a woman, I have a daughter. I wouldn't want my woman, my daughter to be submissive to a bum. So that means that then I have to instill certain traits so my daughter doesn't uh, accept a bum. Right. So I would treat I would instill certain things in my daughter so she can have discernment and have good judgment to find a good man. So she's not choosing bums, choosing an abuser, choosing a man that's not going to, you know, take care of her and a man that's not going to, you know, treat her, uh, you know, ladylike. Um, so that's where it starts. But then as far as like, you know, submissiveness, once the girl finds a masculine man that can take care of her, I think naturally a w woman would just fall into the role of being submissive. But then there's some women out here, they've been socially constructed to believe that they're a boss babe. They don't need a man and they're an independent woman. Well, those women are dangerous and you need to stay away from those because why deprogram a chick that's already been programmed by society and her exes? We, if you have the value, then you could just get another chick that's going to fall right in line. But anyway, Anyways, yo, appreciate the support, man. This chat was uh, this chat was very no fugazi today, and uh, we out. Peace. I am brother. If you want to do your head, you can come to your classic at your Still in it's two hundred.